Yeah, found it, we kept it, and we got steroids for it. It was a worthwhile endeavor. Okay, so like, tell me the story of where this turtle came from to start with. Well, Pebble, being a druid and wizard, did magic. He summoned the turtle with his magic. <laughs> we kept the turtle because the turtle didn't go away. And we said, hmm, let's find ways to make this turtle stronger. I think it was a, it was a magic scroll from that, that yeah. shop that you guys oh, bought yeah, a bunch of stuff it. at from Uthodurn. And he didn't know what it did, so he just used it. <laughs> and it summoned a turtle. Yeah. And we just kept doing stuff. And so that's how the, the tortoise became the main priority of the entire game. And, the... and do me a favor, <laughs> spell the name of the tortoise. Um, I don't know. I can't spell in the first place in general. I felt like that was already established with me writing that one thing. I think it's that, but I'm not sure. I know it's like pronounced Titian. Titian. Yeah, Titian. <sighs> that was a great journey. I don't know, other things we could do while we're waiting. You could tell some more stories from before I joined. The stories from before, before? I mean, that's um, out of my character, but, like, I can tell stories Yeah. from before, just not in character. The great war between the goblin and Koval. Ah, uh, the great <laughs> goblin war. What? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Isn't that when we really committed good. genocide too? Yep. What? <laughs> you had to kill some goblins. And it was the picture. I could never pronounce his name. What? what how did you pronounce Kong's first character's name? Aphios, Aphion? Uh, Aphion? I mean, that's what happened to him after he betrayed us and the kobolds and cut off Meepo's head. What? What? Okay, so we went into a cave in Uthadurn. We found a quest for a farmer to kill some goblins that were stealing his crops. It's the kobolds, but we took a liking to the kobold and said, we'll help reclaim land so you stop stealing his crops and we helped them in their war against goblins and we found them by running into a dragon tamer named meepo he's covered in scars and he's like a, i think it was like a feral baby white dragon or something yeah it was a feral baby white dragon that they were trying to tame yeah as you do and he was the dragon tamer and we were just going back and forth fighting the many. goblins and I forget, this was before we actually went deep, deep to fight the goblins. Aphion, I'm just saying Aphion, because I think that was his name, um, which was Kong's old kicker. I think it was a warlock. It was a warlock. Was a fighter tiefling, actually? He was? I don't know. It really doesn't matter. He was a tiefling. They had a knife. Yeah, Um. so for some reason, she just didn't. Kobolds and didn't tell us. <laughs> and, like the rest of us like this Meepo dude because he was hilarious and he was the dragon tamer. Um, in the midst of all those kobolds, and just, he just picks him up and just sl slides a knife through his throat, practically beheading him. Oh. As an ensuing result, all the kobolds jumped on him and just murdered him. Like. <laughs> He pretty much just fucking died. It, and well, us, we didn't do anything because like, we, we liked Meepo at the time and it's like, you killed Meepo. And all these kobolds are going to kill you. After that, um, we went through the Goblin War and then we met Kong's new character because he came out of the Lantern. 
Oh, great. That <laughs> lovely. Uh, Lyra, right? Pretty sure that was Lyra. Yeah. I think it was Lyra. Wait, how uh, many characters has Kong had? A lot. All of them. Um, then we proceeded on just slaughtering the goblins fighting us, fighting the kobolds. Um, we finally got to the main area of the goblins. And, well, they were just kind of peaceful -ish now because they were getting the crap beat out by us. Well, you killed all the soldiers. We were, yeah, we were dominating. But there was no one left to add fighting to. <laughs> Yeah, and so we just like tried to do that, but we were like a bit overly hostile at the time. Oh, a bit. I think. So what did Lyra do with the, a pit? And then they they slaughtered a <laughs> goblin village of just women, children, and old. Men. Okay. What, well, what Lyra did was uh, what did she cut up? Didn't Lyra cut off a baby goblin's ear though to try and intimidate them, but fail at intimidating them? Yeah, something like that. A lot of war atrocities were committed that day. You're all going to hell, that's for sure. Yeah. Several of you are already uh, there. Um, Molotovs were used a lot during that, because, like, I discovered oil flask could be makeshift into Molotovs. And I did that a lot, because it was very nice. Gave you that fire damage. Who doesn't love some fire damage? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, those kobolds hate tieflings with a passion because we've convinced them that the kobolds were a secret weapon sent by the uh, goblins. So if they ever see a tiefling, the tiefling's gonna probably die. Wait, wait. You convinced who the kobolds were? Well, we didn't want the kobolds killing us and the tiefling just, yeah. who was different from us, just murdered Meepo the dragon tamer. Yeah. So, who was our friend, so we convinced him that he would, they were a spy working for the goblins, so we didn't turn out like him, because he decided to kill a Meepo, the dragon. Oof. Wonderful. Kind of. Yeah. Um, this all happened within, like, a small dungeon, by the way. Yeah. And how many sessions did it take? Yeah. <laughs> Not too long. <laughs> Three or four, I guess. Okay. It wasn't bad. I it mean, was, was still, I feel time. like I feel like by the third or fourth session that you're still in that one dungeon. Well, we did a fair amount. Cause there was some other stuff we did. Well, see, the thing is, the dungeon was run like there was two dungeons, so there's lots of things to do on either side of it, just in the dungeon in general. Okay. Go talk yeah. to the government, speak to the farmers. Because wasn't it direct? Did they call it Draconia too? Is yeah, out of curiosity, thing. is Taldori, is that, got the issues of the, of the, the dynasty versus the empire? Yes. I don't, well, it's mm. the whole deal. <laughs> well, I thought. I thought Taldori was like one country. Oh, wait, Taldori? Or? Yeah, yeah the, the other yeah, continent. No. Yeah. Taldori's another what? place. Yeah, and wasn't Taldoria, wasn't their government one single thing? Because they weren't having war with another empire? They did take care of that shit a long time ago? Yeah. Well, compared to what hell now? What would, what would our characters know about their whole deal in terms of... So we can go there. Now, important question. Did Taldoria get the effects of commas? Yes. Taldoria. Taldori. Stay with me now. Taldori. Nope. nope. Yep. There okay. we go. Taldori. Taldori. Not Taldori. Uh. The consequences of commas because of us. Um. Well, that part, who knows? But um, they have a council of representatives from each of the that live there. For the most part, it's seen united front. Although I think it is also a republic. Atheon, that's what it was. Republic of Taldori? Yeah. 
Then there was White Chewbacca. You have me on let go, and then White Chewbacca came back to kick our asses because of that. Have we ever used the snake staff? The snake's gonna no snack anymore. The special staff he has. The one that turns into a snake? Yeah. Yeah, it's like how often still a used... snake in his room, isn't it? Yeah, no, he 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 did use that quite a bit. He turned it into a snake um, and then yes. just left it in uh, his room. It much at all, though. That's no, he left it in his room, though. <laughs> the dying decree of the sovereign real Taldore II. Continent spanning was that the Empire would be reborn as the Republic of Taldor. Nice. So it is now a has a a council. A Senate, if you will. How are they in comparison to the Empire and the dynasty? How so like relationship wise? Like Like Okay. In my opinion. Uh, from what I understand, the dynasty and the empire are both very, like, authoritarian in their decrees and stuff, and that's why we don't like them. You would probably like Teldori better. That's a good to know. I just love the contrast from the very beginning of what happened to Pebble, and then how constantly he still eats bodies because he didn't learn a damn thing. Yep. Get the disease, so he could almost die. Well, probably would have died. Continues doing the same thing that gave him the disease. Like nothing happened. I guess a question you could answer in character would would be more like, how did Mokdo join the party? Uh, I met them in a town, I think, in Zadash. I don't really remember much of how I've met them. I feel like I should remember this, but I don't know why no, I don't. I came in and met... And then the person I was having contact with the most in the party, the most enjoyable, and was actually willing to, like, let's see, talk to me at the time, my member at the time, was Lucas's new character, but he ended up just leaving because schoolwork and stuff. So wait, you met them during, like, the festival, right? And you were like, I yeah. need to become stronger, and so you followed uh, Mito and whatever yeah, his Yeah, Mito and, and yeah, his character staying around. <laughs> Had an arm wrestling just contest. Kind of eventually, just were integrated. Yeah. Actually, trying to learn how to become big strong. Yeah, big strong. I still have a notebook and the charcoal I use as a pencil. Do, 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 do. So how exactly did Starik get arrested? Technically, we <laughs> haven't fleshed that out all the way. It's not exactly unfleshed out. You could tell them the basics. Sorry, my sister was yelling right outside my door. Um, oh, okay. okay, so basically, Star was exploring, and she got really curious about this blocked off area, uh, and she, she found a way, she found a way in. Um, apparently that was a bad thing. I would, did, did they give any indications as to why it was blocked off? At least that's the part. That's the part that we haven't exactly fleshed out. 
Basically, uh, curiosity the killed the cat. <laughs> area. I mean, it just might, because it, it led you to being introduced into our party. Yep. And it was... <laughs> yeah, basically. Press passing on assembly grounds. Just remember, whenever things go horribly wrong again, it was all because you were trespassing. You do realize how That's close... You do realize how close Star has come to a mental breakdown over these past couple sessions because of you and Pebble just constantly blaming her for things that are quite obviously your guys' fault. We have a different type of mental One example. I need one example for Mokdo. There's funny. I mean, <laughs> just <laughs> there, for example. I mean, the dragon maybe, but my god told me to do it, and I need to do it. I will not be unfaithful. <sighs> I'm okay, so I get a little annoyed every time somebody's like. The paladin, like, as a paladin, you get your powers from your oath, not from a god. And I'm like, okay, but, like, what if you made an oath to a god? So, like, stop arguing with me. My god says to do something. <laughs> if you made an oath to the god, you do... Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. E exactly. Basically, people are saying, well, no, it's because the oath. I'm like, but... If you made the oath to a god. For the god. Exactly. Yeah. What if you make an oath to someone that isn't necessarily a god? Well, then you, you, still have, you, you listen to them. them effectively. Okay. Yeah, because like, you don't need king. a god to be a paladin. Oath to the king, and it can just be to a general belief you have. Kittens are adorable. Yeah, that's where I get my power from. Both of the kittens, kittens are adorable. Like, if there's a really adorable kitten, I just get a power up. You have to pet it. Exactly. Anything that gets in my way will die if they don't let me pet it. What if in your uh, bloodshed you accidentally kill a kitten? Oh no. Th then you become an Oathbreaker Paladin? Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> become an Oathbreaker. I believe the the correct one would just be, nope, straight to hell. <laughs> right down to the boiler room. <laughs> right down to the boiler room. Straight to hell. Okay, wait. I'll try this out now. Stupid chainmail, why are you always underfoot? Maybe you shouldn't have it on the floor. Technically, it wasn't on the floor, but then somebody wanted to sit and where I had it. it because Elizabeth wanted oh, to sit down where it I had it, so Elizabeth put it on the floor and I hadn't picked it up yet. Understandable. So it just ends up on the floor because it's eight pounds worth of chain... More than eight pounds worth of chainmail, and... People just don't know where to put it other than the floor when I when, when they're confronted with it. I'll see you adorn the chainmail. We're very close to that being able to be worn. You can try. You'll probably fail, but you can try at least. Try what? Put on the chainmail, despite it not probably be working at all. Well, I mean, it's a sheet right now, but all I gotta do is size it to the correct size tube, and then put some shoulder straps. <laughs> then I have a vest. Can we have a different song? Yeah, that wasn't quite sure how long to take. It's cleared. How many hit points does Star have, by the way? Um. <laughs> Why would you need to know that? 
a number. In case we ever duel. No, I just want to know if sleep would work if it succeeded if we had a duel. Unlikely. 74. Let's try it now. 74. I mean, <clears throat> if you had thought a little bit, you would have been able to figure it out because you down like I you did 75 damage, and I said that's literally one more than my health. Oh yeah. So additional to well, first, second, third. I oh, want additional 2d8 for each spell slot level above first, or is that just correcting it for each level? No, it isn't. Nice. Wait, so that's 9d8. Damn, I would be two hit points short of making you fall asleep. That's very unfortunate. Whoa. If I yeah, roll max, which is sleep, highly unlikely. Sleep is a pretty useless spell at level 10. Great at low levels. Useless at higher ones. I mean, if I hit you first... Well, that's the problem. I want to cast it because I want to if... be able to hit you. <laughs> yeah, that's a big if. <laughs> That's the reason why I wanted to see if I could cast sleep and it would work. <sighs> My next best bet would be um, compelled duel. The problem is... That just forces guard, me to fight you. I'm, it forces you to stay within 30 feet of me. Oh, yeah, there's so you that. You have to make a check. And there's... that's within my movement speed. The problem is, I'm pretty sure bards have high wisdom. I could be dead. No. Dead. They don't? That's all I'm gonna say on that. Decent wisdom. It's not my dump stat. Yeah. For some reason I thought that. For the record, strength is my dump stat. Oh, damn. That's actually... I just realized my charisma saving throw is plus 10. My highest is a plus 8 to dex. Hmm. For a nice thing plus 7 to constitution. Hey, that's my way of stone. The nice thing plus about seven. being a paladin... <laughs> yeah. Nice thing about being a paladin... All my saving throws have a plus something. The lowest one being the plus two. I mean, if you count plus zero, all of my saving throws also have a plus something. True. Plus negative five. Ooh. Plus negative twenty. How many intelligence saving throw spells are do y'all have? I don't know. Those are very rare. Wait. Okay, that's a, it's good to hear. <laughs> ah, so intelligence is your dumb stat. Makes sense. Oh, that's it? my dumb stat, too. You know, that explains a lot. My intelligence? Yeah. I mean, but hey, my wisdom is pretty good. Why does the paladin need to be smart? His yeah. god tells him what to do. Or his oath. What does page 99 say? Alright. So, any more stories from the past? We could do the... Uh, I don't know if I wanted... I mean, there's the one with the frigid well. But that's kind of relevant now. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool. Tell oh, yeah, the frigid well. Which is actually cool. tell that in character. Sure, we can go into character Pebbles. now. Pebbles the only one that can do it. Um, yeah, we're, we're totally even. We'll, uh, we'll wait for now. <laughs> it's 
everyone else just left the party. <laughs> or died. See, I'm determined to stay in this party uh, longer than August survives or stays in this par party. Uh, because I, I, I am the superior bard. Technically, you've already won, because August has already left the party once, after murdering. And tried to die. Uh, uh, and, yeah, and tried to die. Yeah. And suicide. Hey, what do bards get at level 1? You're not becoming a 4-way. I'm not answering that question, so you can 4-way multi-class. I'm not saying I want to. There's, like, other classes I would multi-class okay, yeah. before bard, like, warlock. But like I'm curious as to what they get at level one, or if they're more like I genuinely characters. don't. I don't remember. What's wrong with warlocks? A warlocks lot of cool. things. A lot of things are wrong with warlocks. Okay. Like one, they have that stereotype of being always edgy. No, it's not even always like edgy. Emo. It, or, or no, that's like rogues. That first of all, that's rogues. Uh, oh, no. Uh, warlocks too. are always. I've never met. A person who mained Warlock that wasn't a min-maxer. I mean, technically everyone's a min-maxer at level 1, too, so... What?! Min-maxer down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know anyone who tries to make everything as even as possible at level 1. No, no, no. Unless you do point even. 5, then you can no, do it. No, okay, not making it... That's not what min-maxing means. Min-maxing means you're maximizing one trait and minimizing the rest. So you can focus, you can be the fastest or the strongest or the most dexterous or whatever. I mean, that can cause some pretty funny things, but then also be kind of stupid at times. Yeah, it, it's just, it's sure. a personality. Basically, it's a personality trait that favors numbers over roleplay, and that just gets like no i pick my i i make all of my character decisions on out of role play i understand that's different ways of playing the game i get that but personally is not my way so like i don't like it well, yeah. it is not the way But I mean, like, min-maxing comes in handy when there's, like, a good amount of teamwork. When s different people are specialized in, like, different things. And I say, I feel like specialized is used loosely in that term, so but I'm not too sure. Completely useless with our party? Yep. That's the difference between min-maxing and good party composition. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> the. See, see the re well, no, the reason it annoys me, the only reason it really annoys me is because of that whole idea of stats over roleplay or stats over character decisions. Like, it doesn't matter what my character would choose because I'm going to go with the option that has the highest numbers or whatever. I mean, I see that. I understand that. And... Before you say, but my character would pick the thing with the highest numbers, your character can't Wait. see the numbers! Yeah, that, that'd be metagaming. <laughs> I meta choose the one that gives me strength! Punished. Hey, yeah, no. wanna... I kind of like Duel? the idea yes. of the min-maxing, having a character that Not specializes in one just, specific uh, thing. Star. Sure. But also I, I do tend to consider armor, armor, too. By the way. Loser. You can have a character. Or y'all sparring? Yeah, I'm a star, oh, shoot. star. Oh no, I'm a die. Uh, okay, just gonna teleport away. I'm gonna put on some leather armor instead of metal armor. Fair. Uh, and um, what what weapon are you using? Uh, let's see. What weapons do I have? I so very so hope I have a quarter staff, or else I'm kind of screwed up. Yes, use a quarter staff. What's going on? <laughs> How much damage does a club do? Is it like 1d4 or 1d6? I think the club is a d6. Inga. Okay. Oh, what about a mace? 
So, how does heat metal work on a shield? What's your shield made out of? I have a tower shield made of metal. I have a kite shield. You're just gonna get rid of all of your metal objects. Yeah. Okay, question. I have my bear trap shield. It's a wooden board with the bear trap. Effectively. That would probably not be affected by heat metal. Yeah, it's but it's it, how it's it a, it's how it's attached to you is the problem. Yeah. Oh, I do have leather armor. That's so very nice. I mean, yeah, I can just hold a shield in a foil. So if the foil ends up hurting, I can still use this as a shield to fight since I have Tavern Baller. I'm ready to go whenever. I don't like having an armor class below 20. I don't like those numbers with the Paladin. I'm so used to seeing a high IEC Maka, now I just see 14. It's scary. Oh, shit, there's not really a crowd here, is there? Okay, well, whatever. I feel like Ben would just be in the audience with not necessarily popcorn, since he doesn't need to eat, but he'd have a bag of popcorn, because I feel like Quiet would be there, too. He's ha He's got the popcorn for Quiet while we watch Pray tell how did go you down. get popcorn? Uh, take cur corn kernels, dry them out in the sun, then put them in a... Uh, you do realize it, it requires hot, specific hot oil. corn. Specific corn? True. But, like... It's fine. I mean, are just, we really just... being picky with, like, popcorn? I mean, I, I am, but don't worry. Corn, but I like, I like playing, <laughs> like, messing around. I know, like... I know. I, <laughs> I wouldn't be a historical reenactor if I didn't point it out. <laughs> very true, very true, yeah. And I haven't had a reenacting thing in a very long time, so... <laughs> I can't remember what type of corn, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say sweet corn. No. Kernel that corn. That I feel like that's not a thing. <laughs> I don't know many types of corn except the type of corn that I've eaten just straight up off, right off the cob raw, which is sweet corn. Yeah, that that would be. That's kind of. Oh, oh, there we go. Copy. Who's playing a game? Uh, that would be me. Yeah, I. It's coming up on your mic. Yeah, Just the I was turning poop. it down every once in a while. I'm gonna turn it down a little more. Makdo, what's your ring name? Z... Z... Maze. Oh, wait, where is it? Wait, where is it? What? Z, Z Maze is used for popcorn. My ring name? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, what's your ring name? When you enter the ring, what is your ring name? Oh! Mokto the dragon. Okay, that's very forward. <laughs> Get it, sir. Yeah. Hmm? What? Do you do you care what your ring name is? I mean I was going to suggest Shadow of a Star, but did you have a better idea? Oh, that's good. That is my uh, name. Yeah, your name is kind of already a ring name. That is my name. That's literally her full name. Shadow of a star? Yeah, that's how tabaxi names work. Unless you, unless that's you have a better so name. So fancy. Maka. What? That's how she I'm introduced herself to you. Maka the dragon. Okay, I think we're good. Wait, Makdo's a kobold, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. About Dragon right. Descendant. Entering in. Mokdo the, the Mighty. We have Shadow of a Star, Cat with an Act. On the right, we've got Mokdo the Dragon. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. I didn't know the announcer was able to cutting words. <laughs> Uh, 
How are we right. starting? You guys can start whenever. Uh, rolling initiative, I would assume. Okay, but like, how far from each other? Yeah. Can we get Owlbear up in here? True. Yes. Owlbear Rodeo. Initiative. That was almost an 18, but it's just a 3. That's very unfortunate. Oh my gosh, it remembered. We have the same number Where? Lesson, guys. Um, campaign general tag is arena. Okay. Or the Are you sure you're you going to go first? Uh, that that depends on D&D uh, &D Beyond's dice roller. I might have to roll in... Uh, uh, game room. One second. That is the wrong character sheet. I Honestly, I do sheet. feel that. Because I remember in Lucas's campaign, I kept accidentally rolling like two times. I accidentally rolled in D&D &D Beyond and he does the dice chat. I rolled a nat one both times for both those rolls. Went, oh shit, I need to use the right chat. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 in the chat. I don't understand. Okay, um... Roll... One... D... Hey, remembered my name from last time? Uh... What is the Owlbear link? Uh, put it in campaign general chat. And the password is arena. Ooh, that's a 21. I think mine beats it, obviously, with a solid 3. Yeah, maybe. In uh, Upside Down World. In golf terms. Okay, uh, pause one second. How is the arena on fire? We've added some, some boulders and some fire. Boulders can act as cover for hiding behind purposes. Um, fire, fire is fire. Don't be in the fire. Those boulders would've been, like, great for me. Yeah, spice the things up. Uh, okay, pressing on the link, is it not opening for anyone else, or is it just me? Uh, it opened oh, never, for me. Never mind, I got it. I had to, like, hold down on it and then press, like, the link to open. So it'd be at least roughly equivalent. There. Symmetrical maps here. Passwords oh. Arena, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Okie dokie. Um. I'm just going to do a test roll of my dice. Perfect. Uh, then I think we are good to go then. Uh, so yeah, I go first. That was decided. Yeah. How far apart should we start? 30 feet? I mean, you can move right out of my range. Six. We are... S are the five foot squares, right? You're 25 feet. Yep. I think you're 25 feet apart right now. Oh, we're, we're 30 feet. I can't see you. I don't see anything. I need to refresh. Now I'm all alone. Now, now I see Star and everyone. <laughs> oh, it's now I see feet. people. One, two. 
five. What the heck? This math four, is weird. Five, six. That is 30 feet. Okay. Well, 30 feet then. Sorry, I was dragging from the front of the square, and technically that counted it as 25. Ah. Yep, did I do something? Yes, okay, you did. Man. Oh, the fire and rocks appeared again. You got rid of the rocks. Is, there, is, there, is anyone else going um, to yell I'm squares? going... No, yeah, um... Oh, okay. I'm gonna say that this song is heavily copyrighted. Um, I'm going oh. to cast... Fine. Sorry. They're all gonna be copyright. <laughs> yeah, well, no, actually. It's only been, like, a couple songs. Does it tell you? Uh, sort of. It tells me the time code. Uh, and it tells me who owns the song. Or at least who it thinks owns the song. Okay. But, like, Star Wars is is a big no-no. <laughs> no Disney. I wonder how much Amazon Prime cares about their stuff. Eh, as long as it's not Warner Music Group or Universal Music Group, it's probably fine. Let's fight. Yes, let's fight. Uh, I'm going to start with casting my Spirit Guardians. Uh, what does that do again? I have an area of protection around uh, myself. Uh, that is 15 feet. Uh, can I give myself an aura? Yes, you can draw it. Uh, draw... Well, uh, first of all, let's measure what's 15 feet around me. Uh, 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet. So that square is 15 feet. Boop. Boop. 5, 10, 15. Uh, and you get hurt if you enter that square or start your turn in that square. Or circle, whatever. How? Getting her at work. Um, there's spectral fey cats flying around me, and they attack you. You know, could I just use my reaction? Or can I even use it? No, I don't think I can. That's disappointing. <laughs> Dang, I can't move the drawing wait. once I've drawn it. Oh wait, I can use that. I have that spell too. I'm being dumb. Um, can I use counter spell? Yeah. Yeah, no, you can't. What is this one? You can. I can't. I'm a counter spell. <laughs> and I'm gonna counter spell your counter spell. Damn it. You have more spell slots than me. This hurts me more. Yes, it does. Uh, I was hoping. And then... I did want to back up, but I can't um, move the circle. It's just three squares out from me, is the thing. 10, 15, 20... 30... when I'm by myself. This was 30, right? No. Yes. Uh, and last... Fred, right? 15. 3, not 4. That is 4 squares. There we go. Well. Why is that... that it's good enough. Not even. Uh, because you centered it on the edge, not my circle. Oh well. It's three squares. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that is my turn. I need to refresh the page. We're having fun here. 
Maybe if I try this, it'll set up that stupid one. Well, what, at least at the very least, what do you want to do? I need to see how far away you are to determine that. Okay, so sixty feet, uh, fifty-five, fifty-five feet. Um... When does movement reset then? What do you mean? Like, if I were to use command and approach, would you still have your full movement to approach me then? Or would it be the limited movement you have left after moving? Uh, I do it on my turn, don't I? I think it is your next you use your next action to follow through. Oh problem. yeah, shit. I'm just being stupid. Okay. Um, what to do? All right, I'm on uh, move. 30 feet forward. Uh, assuming that doesn't put me inside. Nope. The... You're good. Okay. Okay. And grab me. Is that 30 feet? It is. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna cast Hypnotic p Pattern in a 30-foot cube centered on you. And what does that do? Um... You're, you create a twisting pattern of colors and leaves in there for a 30-foot cube within range. The pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. The spell ends for an affected creature if it takes any damage or if someone else uses an action to, say, shake the creature out of the stupor. Okay, so basically, could you just, what, what happens to me? Um, you make a wisdom saving throw. If you fail, you're incapacitated and your movement speed is zero. Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw. And it's under a charmed effect. In case you have resistance. Nope. Uh, I do not. Yes! And... <laughs> that was a nine. Yes. And you said it only lasts for a second there? Um, the spell ends for an affected creature if it takes. Any no, I meant like or... how long does that uh cube the cube last? It doesn't. Specify. It's concentration up to one minute. So you can stop it concentrating doesn't... on it to approach then. Yeah. If I stop concentrating, I don't know. What it is. You snap out of it or not? No, though. it doesn't. I, uh, the effect ends for me when I take damage or somebody snaps me out of it. Okay. So you can so stop concentrating on it. It's just the cube that disappears. Mm hmm. Alright, um. I've moved my 30 feet. I've used my action. I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna end my turn. I place a card face down and end my turn. <laughs> no, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! 
So you just mm -hmm. ended your turn then? No, I. That, it was a joke because of how I'm you confused. phrased it. Um, well, what can I'm I do? Sorry. Uh, so comes charmed for the duration while charmed uh, incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Incapacitated. Uh, or reactions. Cannot take actions or reactions. Did we determine that means you can't take bonus actions? Last time we said we could, we were in this situation for incapacitated problem. We, I think we determined we could use the bonus action. It's okay. I don't have much of a bonus action. So yes, I do actually end my turn then. <laughs> yes. Do I want to take the risk? Well, it doesn't matter. Concentration fails or not. Um, I'm gonna approach <laughs> within five feet. So, if my so thing will first, let me uh, there's the spirit guardians. Yeah, so let's do that damage first. Uh, spirit guardians. That's a 15 radiant damage. 15 radiant damage. Oh wait, sorry, uh, you make a wisdom saving throw, uh, and if you fail, you take half that. Okay. If I fail, I take it. If I succeed, I take half that? No, no, no. okay. On a, or, sorry, if you succeed, you take half that. Sorry, yes, you're right. Words. Fifteen! Fails! I'm pretty sure I failed. Yeah, yep. I think it was like a 16. So yes, you yes, it is. And so you do take 15 damage. I know how my spells work, I promise. Anything else? Or am I Uh on? nope, that's it. That, just that damage. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna um I'm gonna cast Thunder Smite to the concentration of that spell. Hypnotic will go away. Or do I want to do? Well, you're not concentrating on hypnotic anymore, or else it would affect you, wouldn't it? True. Um. So that's first level, and then that was a bonus action on myself. Then I'm gonna use my flail. I'm gonna swing hit. Um, hitting incapacitated is that just normal, or do I have advantage? In uh, it does not say that? anything under. It just says I can't take it reactions or actions. So I can't cutting words it, but it's a normal hit. Normal hit. Okay. Well, if I miss, I didn't do any damage. So. Does a fourteen hit? Miss. I have two swings. How about a 16? Also misses. This is wonderful. This is gonna be my turn. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do any damage. No, you did not. Let's put that up. <laughs> Give your bonus action. Yeah, I'm, I'm just lining up my hits on my non-moving target currently. <laughs> or... Okay. Um... <sighs> I really can't do anything. I don't have much in the way of bonus actions. I'm so glad I picked this. I have this spell and I had it learned. Go ahead. Is that your turn? That was my turn. Alrighty. How long am I hypnotized for? It straight up just says, um, it's up to one minute and until. Okay, you so it, if you if you if you fail to hit me for, what, ten rounds? Yeah. Well, we're at one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, good news is for you, I have no more third level spell slots. So yeah, I've I can noticed. Cast a spell again. 
Alright, let me roll to hit with... Nope. I did not hit my first attempt. <gasps> Meets 17. it! Beats it! Congratulations! I don't like how that dice is sitting, but... Doesn't matter. Okay, so... Roll that damage. I'm gonna use my Divine Smite on top, then. Mm-hmm. And the Thunder Smite. Yeah, so that's gonna be... And I can't take reactions. So that's gonna be 3d8. Um, let's just roll the Flail first. 1d8 plus 3. I rolled the lowest possible amount there. Then... So that's 4 damage, or however will I cope. Um, now we got the 3d8 radiant damage. Nine. Nine damage. Wonderful. Um, then thunderous. Thunder damage. You also must make a strength saving throw because of thunderous, and that's a eleven thunder damage, and there's a audible thunder ring within 300 feet. You said 11 thunder okay. damage? Yeah. And uh, also... Does a nat 20 beat that strength save? Um, yeah, so you just aren't pushed and not thrown. Actually... I know I've already rolled it, but could I have chosen to fail that strength save? And let myself be pushed back and knocked prone. DM. You okay with that? This is mostly a fight between you guys. This is so this would be yeah, but like... You guys. I'm, could I'm I, always down I'm, for failing the saving throw if you want to. Yes. I'm fine with that. Cool. So um, how far am I pushed back? under the hip 10 feet and you're knocked prone. Um, 10 and I'm no longer under the hypnotic pattern. Yes. Because... Awesome. I started my turn in your spirit gardens. So I forgot about that. No, you. Oh yeah, you did. So you'd have to roll that. Uh, you'd have to roll your wiz save again because you just had two turns. Yeah. Fucking. I didn't succeed. Um. um... Eleven damage from that. Eleven. That's such a nice thing, and I could have done it again. Okay. So it's half. It's half your movement to stand up, right? Yeah. Cool. So, 15 feet of movement to stand up. Then... Wait, I thought it was my turn now. No, I was just saying that I ended my turn. Oh, okay. And then... 15 feet to get over to here. Uh, And then... Um, feline agility... Doubles that 15. Um, to 30. Oh my god. I need to refresh, because I'm clearly not seeing where people are moving. I think it's there? I'm scared to see how far away you've moved. Not very. I'm not dashing. Because okay. I want to use my action for something else. You don't have to. I really don't. Spirit Guardians would move then, too. Right? Yeah, so, yes, it does. Good. But, um, Even though I'm going to run right back into it regardless. You are. One, two... Why did I do that? Oh, I would have been so much smarter. Three... I should have used my bear trap. I made it a different I color this time. I made it a different color that. this time. Yeah. Um... I keep making stupid decisions and realizing something else would have been better to do, like, five seconds afterwards. Um, 
I am going to cast my Firebolt to attack. That's a 21 to hit. That hits. That's 15 fire damage. And we'll cast a second level healing word on myself. Decent roll. Uh, that is your turn. Or, that is my turn. Your turn. Okay. What to do, what to do. Come at mm. me. <laughs> I, I, I'm basically, like, dancing around the uh, arena. You can... You can come at me. I'm going to use commands and say approach. Okay. So you would. Um, so just a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom a saving throw. I take it a 10 fails. Yes. That means I'm going to end my turn. And you're gonna walk right towards me. And then your turn. Uh, target must use some saving throw. And follow the command on the next turn. Um. The shortest, most direct route ending its turn if it moves within five feet of me. Okay, so it does require me to use my whole turn. Um, just double checking the distance. Okay, if I was wearing any metal armor, I'd be getting my ass kicked, though. What is the handle of your flail made out of? That's up to the DM, because I'm honestly not sure. I know it's probably honestly, a wrap. Probably leather. Leather wrap. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But if it is metal... I don't, think, I don't think the handle would be metal, would it? I don't know. It depends. Honestly, but uh, can I get a whiz save from you first? Flails have wooden handles, primarily. Okay. Sometimes capped with metal. Good to what know. Do you need me, sir? I need a wisdom save. From oh, you. It. It's even when you come near me? It's anytime you enter or start your turn. And you just entered. I've used that numerous times by just approaching bad guys. Why can't I roll well on this? I have a plus seven. We both keep failing our wisdom saves. It's only fair. I have proficiency in wisdom. But I'm not supposed to be good at it. I'm so sad. Uh, take another 14 damage. Uh, but yes, as you said, I end my turn. And now you start your turn! Yes! In the Spirit Guardian! So make another Wisdom save! Can I stop rolling twos for Wisdom <laughs> saves? Can it at least be something other than a two? I'd rather have a one. Than well, a it's two. only nine damage this time. <laughs> Imagine if you could crit fail saving throws. That'd be horrible. The problem with it only being nine damage, I'm already below half health because of this spell. Ah, ah, ah. And I haven't even tried casting heat metal. And I don't have the bonus action healing. I have action healing right now. Which is very unfortunate. And I'm going to swing to hit you. Okay. You're within five feet of me. Yep. So I'm going to use... My precious time wisely. 20 to hit, non-natural. That that goes ahead and hits. I forgot to activate Oh wait, no! Smart. I think you're bad at this. Cutting words. 
So I roll a d10 and subtract it from your roll. <laughs> no longer hits. 20 minus 6 is 14. Does not hit. Oh, does that keep blasting? That means I need to make constitution saving throws. Well, wait, oh, shoot. I didn't hit. I need to make constitution saving throws for my thunder smite thing, right? No, because technically you already used that last time. That Does, does that last f multiple does hits? Last? I'm not sure. It I genuinely specify. don't know. Oh, but, um, I minute. do okay, need no. to. I do Thunder's need to roll. How many times have you hit me? Like once. Once. Yeah, you hit me once successfully, and I rolled a sixteen on the con save for. That's. I would have negated so much damage. But I succeed if you failed that. All right. Um, I'm gonna swing again. Okay. I rolled the wrong thing. I rolled attack damage for some That's fine. Reason. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I see. I see it I in missed. the thing. <laughs> every I time. The same, the every single time I accidentally roll the wrong thing or I try and roll like real dice and then online dice. It's like, no, no, you don't get to cheat this. You have rolled the same number. <laughs> cool. So, so you once again don't hit me. Congratulations. Um, yes. I'm debating. Um, Do I want to move or not? I would... Do you want my suggestion? I want to be reckless and stay where I am. Hold my ground. I need to prove my strength. This is what Radius would believe in. Well... If I fail here, I am weak. More so, it's just... Regardless of where I go, you'd be closer to me in the middle of the arena. You know what would have been a really useful item to spite heat metal right now? Ooh, metal? If I kept those boots on, because I can push people 15 feet. Yeah. And I could push Star into one of the fires. I'm actually just going to move. Um, that's 20 feet, 30 feet. No, I'm not. I'm not being stupid. I've already used my reaction. All right, you did. I forgot that requires reaction. Or I'm debating because, like, I'm gonna have to enter your range to attack again. The moment I do that, I'm gonna take damage. Oh. Almost like spirit guardians. It's a really good spell. It, it's a stupid spell. It's a Actually, good spell. No, it's a decent spell because it has a save at least. I'm just gonna end my turn where I am. I can at least make a save with this spell. I have a chance to take less damage. It's just that dice are saying no. Fuck you right now. I've ended my turn, by the way. Is a hyphenated word one word? For the con for the uh, requirements of uh hyphenated word. Yeah, for the context of command is a hyphenated word one word. Let's see. Uh oh, I could use that right now. I'd say probably not. Because it's used to join words. I might finally use that, Sam. Oh, well, that's not useful here. Though I might still use it just because. Use what? <laughs> the one racial trait I have. It's that useless here, but I kind of <laughs> That's one racial trait. I can send it to you if you've forgotten. I think I know what it is. I mean, there's 
I think you have two racial traits that are used this year, but, you know. Yeah. What are your goggles made out of, by the way? <laughs> um, probably leather, um, with some, like, brass things, <laughs> and then the glass. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Please, Esther, we'll be right back. Okay, so you're not gonna move. I love the fact that that is honestly my biggest weakness. <laughs> well. I really don't want to say it, though. Makdo. Yes. I'm probably going to lose this by now because I fucked up my chance I had <laughs> by not being able to hit. I had a good number I'm gonna of chances. I'm going to need you to roll me wisdom save. Wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Jeez, wisdom saves have been just saying no. Ha! I matched it! 16! God dang it. Finally! I don't even want to know what would have happened. You really don't, because the words I was saying were walk into the fire. I'm loving these ideas here you gave me now. See, you can't say that many words with command. And se self-immolate is two words, apparently. <laughs> um. Anything else? No, that there's 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 more, probably. You um, don't have to do more. Just saying. Like you can just choose not to do more. Why'd you have to pass that one? That one would've been really fun. That one would've ended this fight right here. <laughs> um... I need a better bonus action stuff. Um... Yeah, how permanent is this fight? Like... Not. So, like, throwing you off a cliff isn't gonna officially kill you. Like, I'm probably not going to be able to do don't it. Don't throw me I off don't the have cliff. A method. Um, I don't have a method of doing it like Pebble was probably was going to do to me if I didn't get that crit. Nice. Um, okay, I am, given your inability to hit, going to take the risk. I'm going to move... 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. <sighs> Darn it. Um. You know what? No. I'm going to assert my dominance and I'm not going to move. Is that your turn? Yep, that's my turn. Okay. Now, just a general question. Actually, I'll ask this after the fight, because I don't want to find out now. <laughs> that just, just mean the end for me. And I intend to struggle. <laughs> I intend to struggle. Alright, um... How are you on con saves? Con saves, I have a plus four. Okay. I don't know why I said that. I mean, it doesn't affect the dice roll. I just feel I just feel stupider every time I look at other spells I have. I feel like that. Oh, this spell probably would have been smarter. Fine, it's your turn. Do it. <laughs> are you out of spell slots? Uh, First, I need to do this. I finally succeeded. Give me that half damage. <laughs> I'm just so happy it's half damage for once. Spirit Guardian. Uh, that'd be seven damage. Yay! It's not 15. It's a glorious moment. Okay, oh, um... The music I finally the... succeeded. I succeeded on my wisdom saving throw, finally. The I succeeded on two of them. Yep. 
One of them was for Grius. I'm going to use my bonus action for that thunderous smite, and I'm going to swing at you and miss. A swing and a miss. I'm going to swing again and hit 24 to hit. Very unlikely I'd be able to cutting words that. Okay, yeah, that hits. I'm going to use level of divine. I used one earlier and I forgot to mark that. Now it's marked. So first let's roll the flail damage. Two. Seven damage for Phileo. Then 3d8 of radiant damage. That is 13 radiant damage. Then we got the thunderous smite. How many second level spell slots you lift, you going with? I've only used two. Thunderous smite is first level. Okay. And it doesn't upgrade to the next. Just, so, so you've I mean, only used your second level ones on the smite smite. Yeah, and ten thunder damage. Yeah. Okay, Smite and smiters. the whole the whole thing with the damage thing, that's damage from a single thing. Like, how does the concentration for like thunder smite? No, no. Okay, so I I I'm concentrating on the thingy. What would I have to roll? Yeah, Sam. What is it again? I forget every time. What is it? I always say concentration rolls. Concentration is a constitution saving throw. That is either yep. 10 or half of the damage, whichever one is higher. Okay, um. Half of the damage, whichever one's higher. How much whichever damage? Higher. 10 do? or half the damage. So, is it half of all of the damage? Oh, so yeah, it, true. Per attack. Okay, so it's so one attack. Is... That With did the 30 damage. Yes. So that'd be 15. Oh god! It was almost a 15! Did you <sighs> fail? Yeah, I failed. Yay! Yay! Yay, no more dying to that, at least. But, wait, wasn't there a strength save for the Thunderous Smite? Um, yeah. Cool, or I'm gonna fail that. Alright, moved and knocked prone. Mm -hmm. Ten feet, knocked prone. Can I decide the direction? Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to roll the strength save. And fail it anyway. <laughs> Uh, what direction would it be? <laughs> Could be towards the fire. You aren't gonna reach it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Sam, what's the ruling on direction? So, he knocks me back ten feet. It's away from you, whichever direction you are moving towards. So like that. Look at the map. I need the rear. I need to refresh because the map doesn't update. I believe so. Okay. It doesn't update in this browser unless I hit refresh. It's very frustrating. Alrighty. Just a status update. How are each other? How are you guys looking? I get the potato. Well, I was doing amazing. Sorry, it's now blood because I've been keeping track too of my opponent, so I know if I chance. Oh, I'm also bloody too. Because it's stupid spirit guardians, which has finally disappeared. So on a return, you recast it. So it's my turn now. Yeah, yeah. So I was probably gonna. Uh, so we're gonna oh, do my. that with feline agility. So get up, fifteen movement, fifteen doubled is fifteen. Um, to refresh to see that. And thank you, Kong, for or August for. Uh, revealing my secret plan. 
but yeah, we're casting another Spirit Guardians. Wonderful, wonderful. Who would have guessed? And, um... I should have done that again, but I didn't. I don't know why I don't do that. Done what? Doesn't matter, I didn't do it. It's too late. Come at me, bro. Is that your turn? Or are you gonna hit me even more? Uh, I don't have a bonus action attack, so, no. Nice. Uh, why are my old characters in here? Because <laughs> everybody's here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna move 30 feet towards you as long as I don't enter that. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna move 25 feet. Um, then I'm gonna be do this because I'm scared. Do I want to? I'm gonna drag it out so much longer, but is Pebble gonna be here? He said he was just gonna be late. Uh, I was debating should I just heal myself? Keep fighting. How much lower than half are you? Um, I'm like at a quarter. Fun. Like, I'm just four points shy of being at a quarter health. I'm debating if I should just heal myself a shit ton. But then I'm going to be very slow later on. Or should I just risk it for the biscuit? Risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. Also, we're just dueling, and there's no reason to excessively draw this out. Yep. I mean, I've already dumped a fifth level spell slot on you, and you passed the save. It's amazing. <laughs> I feel like that spell should still do to. something, because it's a fifth level spell slot. That can be defeated with the same. I don't want to hear it when you have heat metal. It's evil. It's not even heat metal. I don't care. Heat metal is already evil enough. I don't need another evil spell. That's okay. I have a plan for my next turn. To just do something. I'm debating. If I should move. <laughs> I kind of just want to do that. Now since I thought about it. What? <laughs> Alright, so this honestly isn't gonna do much whatsoever. Unless. Oh, wait. Or I can just do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that instead. I'm gonna cast Sleep at second level. That's... And I'm gonna cast Counterspell. Shit. I should've just done what I wanted to do. Oh well, that's my turn then. Do the Counterspell. Hey, that's me down. Oh well. I am I going to... Right now. What? Uh, I hate Spirit Guardians. I am going to bonus action firebolt 21 to hit or not bonus action action firebolt uh 21 to hit okay. that hits. 13 Probably damage okay uh and we are going to uh Second level cast healing word on myself. Cause that hurt. Wow. Wow. We're so close to finishing this and we got more people. That's fine. That's I just want to win. <laughs> and then I'm not going to move. Come at me, bro. 
you'll notice it's darker. All right. Um, I'm just gonna after that. After that healing word. I, I'm like taunting you. Like, come at me. I'm gonna lay hands on pool. And I'm just gonna be fifty points better. Is that your turn? Yes. This has been drawn out now. Okay. This has been drawn out now. If you honestly, if you found a way to hit me again, I probably would have died that turn. I'm gonna need a con save from you. Like, if you just took a step forward, I definitely would have died. Con save. Mm-hmm. I failed. Oh, yes, you did. And you're not resistant to thunder or radiant or particularly damaged by it, are you? Yeah, I'm not resistant to thunder or radiant damage. Cool. So I'm going to roll 10d6. So I'm fucked. That's a lot of dice. 39 damage. Okay, honestly, it was just... It, I'm still alive. The stupid spirit guardians. Why is that such a useful spell? And then... Uh, I'm going to actually take a step forward because you're a coward. Uh, and that puts you in the spirit guardians. Which... Do I have to make a save then? Yes, you do. And fun fact, I upcasted it this time. Nat 20! You still take half damage. I'm still satisfied. I should have gotten that on an attack roll. That would have been so much better. And I rolled Nat almost 20. minimum damage. You take four damage. Jesus Christ. Nat 20s with a paladin allows me to one-hit people. But no, yeah, not according to Kong. Things. Not according to Kong. Mm. I've proven I've one hit Pebble. Why am I being brought up? Because you don't let me double my smite. <laughs> anyway, come on, coward. Start your turn. Alrighty. Start your turn with a whiz save, obviously. 18. God darn it. You might pull this. Why didn't I... I'm not gonna pull this if you keep healing yourself. You healed yourself twice. Maybe if you didn't heal yourself. For 10 points each, you healed for 50... You take 8 damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I deal a lot of damage. But I don't hit. How much damage? 8? Eight? 8, yeah. Okay. And I wasn't so gonna I, heal myself till you healed yourself a second time. I almost took out all of the healing you just did, though. Yeah. I wouldn't have healed myself if you didn't heal yourself in the Fine. second time, though. Fine. Just stay Take dead. your turn, coward. I mean, I could really... Um, uh, what should I do? August, what are you doing? I'm gonna run right at you. Okay. I'm gonna smack you. Nothing. Um, I'm gonna use... Ooh. I'm gonna use my smite. I'm smacking you with my shield, by the way. Um, so that's, uh... Please stop! 16 to hit. I really wanted that to hit. That oh, hit. and it misses! I'm gonna swing again with my shield, because I'm stubborn. I don't care how much damage I do. 18. I think it doesn't. I'm going to roll that d10 of cutting words. Let me hit with the shield. It's not going to do anything great. I it's know what your shield, shield does. Where am I stupid cutting words? It doesn't words? even do that much damage at all. Rolls a d10. Die next turn. Ooh, 4. 18 minus 4 is... 12. Okay, so that's you've... my turn. Yeah. 18 mm. minus 4 is not 12. It's 6... It's... It's 14. 14. I can't math! 
Shut up. It's been a long day. My my AC is 17. It's lower than 17. It's not my problem. <laughs> Shut up. That's my turn. I'm about to die. Yes, you are. Oh, I... I'm running out of so, damaging spell slots. Spirit Guardians. Is it every... T so... Since I'm gonna die, I don't care anymore. Um, so it's whenever like you walk into me and I, I. It's whenever you field. enter the space, or start your turn. So, so if you were the dash with spirit guardians and just going back and forth, would it do the damage again and again on the same turn? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, because that seems like a pretty nice spell to have. Then <laughs> it's already nice. It just became even better. Um. That scares me just, even more now. Let's just do a firebolt. That's a 18 to hit. 18 to hit, that hits. Because I didn't wear any metal. And that's a <laughs> 9, that's a 9 fire damage. Go ahead. I live. Start your turn, my friend. Oh, with my wisdom saving throw? Yes, please. Okay, I'm gonna die. Nine. I'm gonna die. And take the upcasted spirit guardians. Ooh, that's 23 Four. damage, baby. I have 10. I'm dead. Alright, wonderful. Ah, 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 even <laughs> without guardians. heat metal. See, the reason it works so well is because you kept not hitting me. Usually it that really thing is. that becomes a problem. <laughs> like it it's Can up for a round or two. It's up for a round or two and then you then it drops. Um why, anyway. Why, I'm gonna turn the spar matches, I can't hit you. But when I'm actually turned against you, I hit you with a nat twenty. Aw, it's cause you so care lucky. about me. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach you and <laughs> I'm gonna. I know it doesn't technically matter because we're just gonna reset stats and stuff, but I'll I'll give you a healing word. Just be like, well, that was fun. Uh, it was very fun. As I as it's I help you up. Better. Uh, so. Okay. The not that not it matters, matters, but you got matters. ten. You got ten health back from the uh, healing word. Hypnotic. Pattern is pretty useful though. Until yeah. I didn't have any more third level spell Yay. slots to use it again. August is clapping in the distance. He's he's excited for his fire. You won. I feel patronized too. Nah, but cutting birds comes uh, in clutch though. It really did. I just wanted to. I really should have just thrown my shield at you the one time. That's what I was debating about doing when I was going to heal. I just wanted to throw my shield into the ring. Maybe at a later date, me and Starship fight and find out who's the true, more powerful bard. <laughs> <sighs> Probably me. We'll see. I can cutting words. More than once. But I have high modifiers. And a T Rex. But I'm just a better person. That doesn't always mean you're better. I'm just better at being a bard. Okay, I guess we, I won't give you those temporary hit points nor allow you to move to your movement speed. Not when we're sparring. Besides, I have an allegory for this my. my... Jesus. What the heck is wrong with you? Stop it. <laughs> I have an allegory for my weapon. So we got everyone but George now? <laughs> yes, we're good. Who's that? Yeah, George is at his grandpa's, that's why. Is somebody playing a flute? No, it's a recorder. Or that thing that you play in... Second that, grade? It's a recorder, it yes. It's my recorder okay, yeah. from second grade. Now? I knew it had to be like a low quality oh, flute. So we, we aren't gonna go fight the dragon now. I, I thought we agreed on this. We were waiting. So we had everyone in the party. I'm not that stupid to go with like not full strength. 
Jeez. Oh look, Pebbles here. Pebble, where have you been? Is he? No, he's uh, not, know. genius. Oh. From, I'm, uh, I'm not looking Oregon at the Netflix. Discord. My phone's turned off. <laughs> or getting no Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what were you doing? Me? From Oregon Necrosis. Well, how Oregon did... Necrosis? Oh, yeah, that. I love the fact I could have done something about that. Yeah, we could have helped you with that, buddy. <laughs> if I wasn't <laughs> evil That's at the time. Me. We asked you! Well, I didn't, yeah, but, you didn't but have they to did. Leave. But you said to leave! We had stuff to do! What stuff was that again? Getting out of the dash. <laughs> 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 Tell me I'm wrong! Oh, indeed. What's, What's going now? on? So Pebble well, has returned. Pebble? Um, Pebble has returned. Um, well, we were t we started by dragon now? we started by telling stories of how we joined the party and stuff. Bogus, how did you join the party? Um, see, a long, long time ago. <laughs> Um, my sister was on a job, not sure what, I was in the tavern, um, doing a song. Um, and, well, apparently something happened and their old bard died, and then I just went along with it. It's not very much. <laughs> yep, good story. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful story. Who's gonna take it away? Mito, how did you join? <laughs> he also actually he joined in the same exact spot that August did. Yeah, I just ran into some people who were <laughs> abusing the turtle, and I was like, I might as well join. Well, uh, <laughs> how were they abusing the turtle? Uh, um, well, they rammed it through a house. Oh, that's it. And then on that same house, they ran the turtle through. Oh, no, no, no. That's a different house. That was then... after. That was after Mito joined, by the way. Yeah, that's still technically. They ran it through, like, uh, a building, and then they painted something um, on the back of the main manor in white paint, and the Drunk tortoise was covered in white finest. paint. <laughs> I do believe it was Clarence is a wet blanket. <laughs> no, Clarence is a swamp drinker. That's what it was. Swamp drinker. There we go. Yes. Was, yeah, it was some mild insult. You're a mild insult. <laughs> His house was also destroyed. <laughs> Permission to reset stats to before fight. Granted. Oh no! Just don't go let fight a dragon. Drink. I wanted we to have to something. head north to find this dragon. So we okay. can defeat like, it. We're, 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 Listen to me, Mito. I, I kind of get on my knees and I grab him by the shoulders. Listen to me. Okay? If this thing is truly evil and dangerous... You mean yes, Mokdo? Or, yeah, sorry, Mokdo. Hey. Um, yeah, why'd you get on your knees? What, what's coming on? Like, <laughs> like grabbing his hands. You're just looking at his kneecaps. Listen to me. <laughs> I meant, I meant Mokdo. Listen to me. Okay, if this is a truly evil dragon, okay, and we kill it, I will slightly trust your god more. But if it's some um, good dragon or like little itty bitty thing that can't hurt anyone, I'm going to prevent you from killing it, and then I'm going to completely dis we just said just kill it in the background. <laughs> We're gonna my kill it. <laughs> yes, they did hear you. <laughs> I just heard kill it in the background, and I had no clue who's. Pebble. <gasps> no. Who it is? Fine until we came. Pebble. No. Stop. We've been waiting for you, Pebble! 
<laughs> I'm still stronger than Makdo. Because of stupid spirit guardians and me not being able to land a fucking hit. <laughs> Where are we? We were doing a spar, and I'm still stronger than Makdo. <laughs> They're discussing about one of the bards um, having intercourse with the dragon that we're going to fight. What? Yeah, and then having your cobalt soul, son. I'm sorry, when yeah. did that come up? I, I didn't hear any of that. What? Well, that was <laughs> Their conversations are interesting. Oh, are you out of the funny thing, Makdo? Yes. I was planning on using my Ring of the Ram, because I don't need to be right next to you to use that. And I forgot yeah. I had it once the fight started. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. No, it's not, because I still won. True, but you could have just rammed me into fire. That would have been hilarious. True, I could have. I don't mind much that I lost, because as long as it's fun. Yeah, no, and besides, we already knew I was stronger than you before, and we just confirmed it now! It's good for my bard ego. <laughs> Arm wrestle, ego. now! I find a bear, I just find the nearest table, sit at it, and put my arm up waiting for you, star. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. I'm not very strong. So I am the strongest. No, I'm... There are different definitions of the word strong. You are physically strong, and she is powerful. There you go. Thank you. Accepted. You interrupt the D&D, &D, I smack you. Do not hey. physically abuse people. Oh, it's okay. They're basically my... Cousins? Do not physically abuse your family. You're only allowed to physically abuse your D&D &D party. Are you? That's all I heard. What did you say? You're, only allowed, you're only allowed to physically abuse your D&D &D party, which is why I shall stab you when I get to North Carolina in, like, literally less than seven days. We need a plan for that. We need to plan for that, but no. Not right no now. <laughs> what are we, when you get here, are we going to plan? <laughs> We're in the middle of a game! Well, yeah, of course not right now, but later. Shut up! Stop! Yeah. Whatever you do, they can hear you. Are you serious? Okay. I have, tell, tell, so I have uh, a deck of August. Fighting. August. Yes. Tell them it's also being recorded. Yes, it's also being recorded. Oh, that just make that would just make me want to be more I annoying. Like that, that's not gonna solve anything. Yeah, but it hurts. It hurts August more so. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what were you saying? So I have these deck of item cards kind of thing. So oh, that way cool. I can just draw from it and as a loot table. And the cloak of invisibility. They all have art on them except for the cloak of invisibility. <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. It's just an empty card. Beautiful. Anyway, Pebbles here. It. Let's go explore a dragon cave. There is a dragon. You can head north. Well, how, how long has it been? It hasn't. No time at all. Uh, We've been waiting. Days. In game. In game. Oh yeah, eleven days in game. Since since they got there, or since the session started. Since they got there. Both. Um. I'm not here yet. You're not here. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm getting that. I'm not there yet. What can I say? Are you driving? No. Then you're here! Your audio quality is low. Why is your audio quality I'm low? On, I'm on my phone. And you I'm hear the echo computer. of the car, though. This is not a car. This is a vehicle <laughs> with four wheels. <laughs> is it in motion? It's not in motion. It's more like at a velocity higher than zero. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually going to be my follow-up question. What's the current velocity of this vehicle with four wheels? Uh, currently zero. 
now it's accelerating. <laughs> okay, be careful. I'm I'm I don't have my hand on my phone at all. I'm just I have headphones in. Okay. I mean I have one headphone in. Well if Pebbles not here, I'm confused if he's here or not. Assuming he's not here. Pebble has not arrived in Stonehaven yet. I am going While to use I, I'm going to ask um I'm going to ask so that's actually a great idea. Uh, I'm going to ask to August stronger. if I can use desperate. the sky orb. Hey August, can I use the sky orb? Mm. Cool, I'd like a scry on pebble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you like to scry on Pebble? Yeah, what the heck is Pebble doing? What is Pebble up to? At day 11? Can I, can I, can yes. I say this? It takes a week for you to get back, so just remember that. But yes, you can. Uh, if you are scrying, I'm, I need to make a wisdom save, right? Or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can somebody roll for me? Because I am in a vehicle that's not a car. Uh, um, rolls the worst roll, please. I got you. I can yeah, yeah, someone to, yeah, Nick, you, you should roll. Is it a wisdom roll. save? It's a wisdom uh, save. Plus eight. The DC is unfortunately pretty high. Plus eight. How do you have a plus eight? How do you have a higher plus than Mokdo? Because I'm smarter. No, you're wiser. <laughs> yeah, wiser. I'm also smarter than Mokdo. Oh. So I don't I don't know. I, mean, I, think everyone in the party I didn't say anything false. <laughs> okay. The DC is a seventeen. I'll be get a fifteen. And I can double check that plus eight. Uh, it plus is plus eight. eight. I've but looked at his stats. I know my <laughs> <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you see Pebble sleeping. In a in a mud spring, just relaxing in a mud spring. Do I get oh, any idea as to like where he is spring? relative to Zadash? No. Well, like, is if he's right next to it, like. There's no civilization around me. Is Titchy in there though? Is he in the mud spring with you? He is nearby. And that goes on for 10 minutes. I'm going to cast Sending. Ooh. I'll take the orb back when you're done. Uh, yeah, no, I'll hand it back to you. Um... <laughs> I just imagine August standing over every time someone's using the orb. No, yeah, that's no. exactly what my character does. <laughs> I would like back away from you a little bit, like personal space. Oh, like buddy. I'm not like right on top of you. I'm just like I'm just like nearby watching. I I feel like sure as, as of like... right now, there's a little bit of trust when anyone but August, they're sorry, not August, but Pebble is using the orb. Yeah, um, I'm I'm from a distance. I am watching you. Make sure you're just not trying to steal it. I'm not a rogue. It's literally my, like, like partially for you, my... For you, it would be Edward less, because I, 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 I trust Star more than I trust about anyone else besides, like... I think well, I trust the thing is, the Star, Star likes curiosities and, like, little things. Um, she She's not in it for the power of things or the value of things. Um, so, yeah. Um, same with Mito. I mean, I mean, like, Mito's pretty chill, man. Mito's very chill. Mito is the chillest. Anyway, Mito's I cast true. Sending. I them the most. Okay, what you message him? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> At Pebble. <clears throat> I've got to get ready for that character voice. What Heavens. are you doing 
in I'm gonna write this out talk about other stuff I want to write it out because I, I I don't want that's five words already shut up Lost in five words. Let's go. So here, what are you doing? And then like a five minute pause while you write out what the other 20 words are. I'm just typing it in something that'll count the words for yeah. me. <clears throat> Sam, can you roll me a percentile die? Absolutely. Wait, do you want me to roll or do you want someone else to roll it? I want you to roll it. Okay, so you're looking for that low anymore. number. I don't get to roll. Hundred. Forty-eight. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. <clears throat> Do you have that spell? I love how it, he sent that so quickly. Whatever it was. I'm confused. What? What? So about that sending spell. Oh shoot, I can't send you messages because you're in the car. Um, Everybody deafen? <clears throat> uh, move yourselves to confession Here, booth? I'll, yeah, I'll, move, I'll, move I'll, into I'll confession move, booth. I'll move Pebble. Don't, don't pick up your phone, Pebble. You're good. Oh, okay. Do it. Do it, Pebble. Right Do it. See, the main reason I want to type it out is because I want to be able to say it with the correct inflections instead of having to pause every word to count. Uh, yeah. But it adds more to it. See, see, but I'm supposed to be a bard. I'm supposed to be eloquent with my words. You think I'm eloquent with my words? <laughs> I'm supposed to be. That's only if I'm in the College of Eloquence, which I'm clearly not. I'm in the College Maybe of uh, Glamour. So, okay, before. has anybody told Pebble we're fighting a dragon? Like, outside of no. game? I have No. Outside of game? Oh! He has an idea of outside of game. Inside of game, he doesn't know shit. Away. <laughs> this oh it's that oh okay i'm back i'm back right i'm you... back can you hear me congrats yes we can hear you you. you weren't what? supposed to say anything, August. What the fuck? Sorry. 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 Would would ASAP be an acceptable word? <laughs> I'm kidding. Or sure. Cool. Would a what? ASAP, as in as soon as possible. Okay. So twenty-five words counted out. Sending pebble. Pebble, what are you doing in the mud spring? We need you in Stonehaven. Makdo is convinced he needs to slay a dragon. Please return. There's no response from Pebble. <laughs> dragon must be slain. He must slay it. So then you have to say the words aloud, right? Well, technically you whisper them, I think. Whisper? Huh. I wouldn't be paying that much attention. Okay, so Pebble may or may not have received that message. <laughs> I hate this man. Since we don't know how long Pebble's gonna take. You said something about your family, Makdo? Yeah, I had you send those messages 
I was thinking we could go and try and meet them to help guide them back. And then afterwards, we can go after a dragon. Yes, like, it's probably very it's probably very important that we get your family here safely. Uh, and then we go out and fight a dragon. Exactly. And well, when we come back helpful. from the dragon, they would have exponentially increased our mind. Because, you know, my family's very good at digging. Oh, that's from the audio in game. Are you guys fine with that? Though we do have to go the opposite direction of the Dragon Cave since they're That's down perfectly south. fine. And the Ash Keeper Peaks, um, I completely forget the name of. I always never remember Ash that. Ash Keeper Peaks. No, no, the Quarks is. I can't say that word. The Jungle. They're at one of the mountains by the jungle. The Quarks are. Let me look at the Koraska. Koraska. That's really jungle. far south. Yeah, they're in one of the mountains by the jungle. We're in one of the mountains. One of them. Been away for seven years. When we get near there, I can I'll be able to pinpoint it. I can't well, just do it off the top of my like head. <clears throat> um, they can How live up to a hundred years. Uh, Eleven days. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else gets it, Sam. I get it, though. Now one person gets it. I know it. I know it, too. Not as in that. Yeah, I love it, but I still know it. I, I watched the little animation that there was. What do you guys think? Mito, August... Ben, Ben. About what? Going to get my family and help guide them back. So we have miners for the town. And more town people. Pull out, I pull out a checkboard, like a checkboard, like checking up on stuff. Sam, how many miners do we have? We have three, right? The three kobolds? Uh, that you know of, yes. And Mido. Mido mined, too. Okay. Ben's giving well, like a strong rarely. thumbs Like, I'm up. talking about, like, NPCs-wise, like, that are always here. Do you not That's see this shield that Mito made? I pull out my bear trap shield. Wonderful. Um, sure. We could use some, a few more miners. So how big is your family again? Well, the, you know, like he's like threatened stuff on the clipboard that he's got in his hand. Uh, I, well, we're a tribal kobold, so. <laughs> 20 or so, but like, I don't know how much the numbers have changed. I've been away for a while. Could be more, could be less now. I know my father is still doing good, though. There's a war crime scene. It's good to know. He seemed to be having a feast last time I checked on him. Hold on, let me go consult with the kobolds. Um, I, I go over to the three silver kobolds. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Uh, so you guys are the miners, right? Yes, yes. Can I see your progress? Uh, you are not cobalt. Yes, no. Can I walk up? You cannot go in the mines. The mines are holy. <laughs> holy I... <ground. laughs> I, I shift my form right in front of them. I turn into a silver cobalt like they. Is this better? Oh, this is hilarious. I love it. One of them walks up and pokes you. Yeah, don't like a kobold. Do kobolds have tails, kobold, right? Though. Yes. The tail is like limp. <laughs> no muscles. I'm going to enter the mine now. I pull out my Kepler and start writing more stuff down. <laughs> I'd be able to walk up and say he's fine. You walk up and say he's fine, and they kind of go into a little group huddle and start muttering under their breath. 
I, I, I yell from I yell from like outside the cave. He's really not though. <laughs> Holy mines. <laughs> if we let him in, we could bring more kobolds like us. And they will help the holy mines expand. Having finished their conversation, uh, it's like I promise not to defile your holy mines. Root, who is kind of the impromptu speaker of the uh, the group, says, "Yeah." As, as, as long as you stay, come on. Of course. I'm Lorax. I speak Wait. for the mind. <laughs> I thought their names were Leo, Kip, and Pop. Leo, Kip, and Cop. There is... Why do I have more names than that, then? Oh, Leo with that's a K. right. You guys have more kobolds than that. Yeah, it's Leo with a K. You said three silver kobolds. Those yeah. were the new kobolds. In the mines. You have other kobolds. Those were the new kobolds. When were the other kobolds introduced? When we were first introduced, this is the old three kobolds. No, these yeah, kobolds there's... are the new ones. Okay. The silver ones are the new ones. No, the silver yeah. ones are the original ones. Like three no, kobolds. they are new yeah. from oh, when fine. Ben came in. When I went okay. back, uh, Sam was like, there's th uh, three new silver kobolds. Yeah, and we didn't have any kobolds before that. So there's there's the three silver kobolds. Since you guys left and then came back, and there is more kobolds. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see your progress. Let's go on. <laughs> I'll follow you. Never get the chance. Can I get the names of those kobolds? Uh, yes, we're gonna have to make sure our list is doubling up, though. Yeah. They're reproducing. You are der <laughs> They only live 11 days. Um, what is so that from? <laughs> I'm out look of... up Critical Role Spurt uh, animation. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. good. The most magnificent thing. It's so good. <laughs> maybe, maybe afterwards, though. It's very funny. Do we enter the mines? Funny. You you do enter the mines, and you see these like small animal bone and wood structures that are seem really old. Like they like brought it with them and then set it back up. And they're kind of like these little shrines built as further and further as you go into the mines. The holy mines. The holy mines. So, how far down do these tunnels go? They go about... Probably about 50 feet before they reach, like, the point where they're kobold-sized, specifically. Um, and at that point, they just extend into a maze of tunnels. With no real direction. <laughs> Does it go down? Yeah. They, are, they do go down. Okay. I, 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 That's good. I write this down like, okay, very big attention. So how much resources have you guys run into your digging? What? Like rocks? Like, like super, super special rocks. Super shiny, super dense and hard. What? You know? <laughs> you want the rocks? We already give you some rocks. Like this. I use pressure station to like form like a, a tiny little bit of iron in my hand. Who's playing with a balloon? Like this. Have you have you encountered anything like this? We move to surface. The big ones take it. Okay. Do you have any idea how much you've gotten? They kind of look at each other. And one of them holds out their hands as far as it'll go. About this much. Okay. 
Thank you for your time. <laughs> Pokemon store amazing miners. You, you guys no, do, is here. Yes, you guys do great work. Thank you for your help. Keep up the great work, and I, I just walk out. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta walk backwards when walking out the mines. <laughs> <laughs> You'll offend the mine gods. The great mine will be coming. I turn around and I start walking backwards. Okay. Well, Until so you exit cold. the mine. <laughs> right, I'll, sit, I'll step back into my human form. What's up? <laughs> Let's hope some more of Mido's group is more like Mido. You mean Makdo! <laughs> Makdo, I'm sorry, you guys' names are so similar. I mean, one has an I, one has an O, and a K, and a D. Both have a D. Both have a D, both have an O. Both have one an M. One has more O's. Mokdo and Mido, they're very similar. Mokdo. Okay. Um, Mokdo, please run by me the list of kobolds that you currently have. Leo, Kip, and Cop. Leo with a K. Yeah, it's Leo with a K. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Oh, that's right, these are my notes somewhere. That I don't have access to you. Then you have the the new ones of root. Root or root? Root, like a tree root. Okay. Mort and spigot. And are they all silver? Um, these ones are red. Hey. This is perfect. Got root, mort, and spigot. Everything good, August? What? With the mind. Are we ready to go? Like, get more kobolds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family. <laughs> He's writing some more <laughs> stuff now. Does anyone else have anything they need to do? I think we need to get more people other than kobolds. You could have a well, 50% the, population well, are, of kobolds. Well, no, well, they are great for digging. Um, unfortunately, no one can actually use these if they're not kobolds, so... Start another I'm sure they've already dig almost dug out the entire mountain at this point. Tell them to compete with each other. Wouldn't they run Tell into fire what? giant territory eventually? Who says they haven't? Nah. Yeah, um, Makdo, make sure to warn them about the fire giants. Or the lava. Okay. I'll make sure they go do that. I'm gonna start heading towards the cave. Mine. We're on the opposite side of the mountain. Yeah, we are. We're on the top. I'll be right back once. Like the mines are on the opposite side. Oh yeah. Of the fire giant. Like we we made sure to make like them way away from the fire giant. Okay, let's go get the other kobolds, and then from there we can kill the dragon. Onwards. Very far distance. <laughs> All right. So you guys are just um, traveling across the mountain range. Yep, we're trying to go get your... those people or mock those people. Yeah. Jesus. I think you're getting worse. 
I am getting worse. Well, we could cut through, or we could just head to Trost and we'll head down and then just go through the jungle. Or around the jungle edge. Cutting to the mountains is the fastest, like the most direct. Except they're mountains. Going that fast. Well, haven't you been on this? Haven't you trekked that path before? So wouldn't you know? I mean, that was like seven years ago. Okay, well. I'm just saying realistically, because the mountains. They're going up and down mountains, not the most ideal. We can go through them with relative ease, but there's also more safer and more convenient routes. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, if we want much of your family to come back alive, then I guess we must go ahead and take the safer routes. So we should... But how about for getting there? Since we have don't have them with us, do we want to just cut through the mountains? Or... That would be faster or not, because, again, we're cutting through mountains. Hold on. It might render us more fluid if we get lost. Getting Good them Lord. back is going to be it's easy. Adding. It's getting it's to them is going to be difficult. There's going to be jump. That door's only purpose is to turn a wall, turn a hole in the wall, or turn it to a wall. Yeah. I'm going to go over there? and I'm going to open the door yeah. to the, um... Teleportation room. Okay. That is true. We could teleport them back. Yeah. And instead of all crowding in the room, basically you run through the teleportation circle and run directly out the door. That way we don't all pile up in the room. Okay. Okay, well, um, let's, I guess we can go ahead and cut through the mountains if you want. Yeah, I think going through the mountains will be, will work fine for us. We can just teleport back to But if you told them journey, to come, begins. if you told them to come this way 11 days ago, like, how do we know where they are? Can I borrow the scry orb? It's already been used today. I mean, for today we can... Another day. Yeah. I could also orb. cast sending to ask them. I think or you could do that. Today. Well, I mean, that's another waste of a spell slot, though. We can do both. Wait a day and have her cast sending now. Yeah, we'll cast sending, and depending on how vague their answer is. <laughs> okay, uh... What do you want to say? Just asking where they are. Like, if they've started moving yet or not. If not, we'll come and pick them up. So there's a message being sent? Yes. Uh, are we making the rule that you have to fill up 25 words? <laughs> no. But if you don't, then you're lame. So, I cast Sending to the same person Mokto had me cast Sending to before. 
No, oh. that's his. Who? Father, I think. Yeah, my father, Snowball. Hi, Makdo again. How far have you made it in your journey north? We can meet you along route. We just need to know where. That's 25 words. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see here. Pause for about 30 seconds. All the day. We need to know where. About a day. I mean, it is a pebble response, so. Like a, no! Out of the day on the way, or a day away? I asked how far they were this. into their journey north, so I would assume they've been traveling north for a day. Let's head south, and let's take the fast path. Did you ask what path they were going on? No, because so, I... Are you just, sure you I... want to take the fast path? I figured asking where would have uh, implied a path. Just a friendly reminder, my my family's family heirloom is a set of goggles that makes it so I don't have disadvantage in sunlight. So, I wouldn't put too much faith in responses at all times. Just about as much faith as we put in you hitting something. I have no faith <laughs> what you said. <laughs> well, that's, that's a Everyone else robot. did. He was just a robot for me. Well, he was insulting you. At least I'm not a failed wizard. Not a <laughs> dropout. Hey, I, I didn't fail. I'm successfully a wizard. No, you're a dropout. In what world? He didn't even... He applied, got accepted, and then didn't go. So you guys are taking the fastest path. I guess. Yeah, that way if we get there and we haven't met them at all along the route, we can take. we can start taking the slower path back and try and rush it. Well, the fastest path is going by boat. Oh. The new says they're not trying to dig their way through. Okay, <laughs> Magdo, what path do you think your family would take? I mean, when I went through, I went through the mountains when I originally left home. And you think they would do that as well? Maybe. But I've learned a lot in this time. They may have learned just as much. Okay, so we're going to take the path through the mountains. Yeah, path through the mountains. So wait, can you tell them to wait there, or are they going to continue moving? They're going to continue moving. I probably better test through the mountains since I already said. Is there anything you guys would like to prepare specifically for your journey, or are you just headed out? Um. Is the mountainous terrain going to be too much for the horses? 
Uh, most assuredly. Okay. What about on a six-legged horse? <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm not going to risk it. I think we should just go by foot, honestly. Yeah, no, I just said I'm not going to risk it. Um, because not only are we taking the fastest path, generally when someone takes the fastest path, it's probably the most... No, we're path. not. We're taking the mountainous path. Should we have the fastest path? I don't know. The boat. Have you no. ever traveled through mountains? Taking yeah, a boat to the river. Okay, but Riding like going river. over mountains as opposed yeah. to around mountains can sometimes be the faster path. Not if you're riding a boat down the stream to go around. Well, I mean, I didn't think I didn't think we we're doing that as a lot. Okay, because like no one's. <sighs> Let's just go through the mountains. You Thank can go you. around the mountains. You can go through the mountains, or you can go by boat. Boat is by far the fastest. Going around, you might not meet the kobolds, and going through is the slowest, but probably the most sure way of meeting. Or you could go steal an airship and then fly over the mountain. Could. That's what we assume you're doing. If you don't come back with an out. if you don't come back with an airship, we're banning you from the group. <laughs> from your own group. <laughs> I am the group. No. Look at me. I am the group now. Whoever's the majority is the group. I mean I would say Mato, we're going to get his family and we're going to kill a dragon. Doesn't mean anything. No one's necessarily the leader. We all argue with each other, so. No, I'm not saying I'm the leader. I'm saying I am the group. <laughs> Everyone's the group, but just. Can we just go now, please? Please. Like, no. I, said, like, well, I, asked, I asked if you wanted to prepare anything for the, the trip, so I guess that's a uh, no I'm gonna. Well, no, I'm just. I'm securing things down at the library, just doing a final check. I'm doing I'd my, like to my, prepare my some poison bullets. I'm going to let Quiet uh, know where we're going, so I won't be there to train her wait. for the next few days. I'm going to make sure that my, my bulletin board is okay. But are we bringing Quiet or now? I'm letting Quiet know I'm going, uh, so I won't be there to train her, but she should continue practicing the different uh, routines and exercises we've been doing. Or positions and stuff. Listening. Not allowed to walk to the mountains, but allowed to go to a war zone. Okay. I am not requesting or saying either way. If she wants to I indicate know, she wants to go, stage. that's up to her. Put it out. Perfectly safe. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, like I'm that. leaving it oh, open, I'm Sam. If she wants bullets. to indicate that she wants to go, that's up to her. I, d I don't think she would for this one. I would prepare some food and stuff and pray for Ivy's praise blessing. Okay. I'm just going for draw. Um, just for, like, I don't know, keeping track of things, this is about a 15-day journey on foot. Would poison bullets take that long to make, or...? Wait. Sam? Yeah? Would they take that long to make, or not? How, how are you poisoning bullets? Remember how we had talked about how poison bullets were made before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're uh, that. the Geneva oh, Convention. Wow. <laughs> how are they I mean, poisoning bullets? You put poison I, in I a hollow point bullet. Skin. No, I mean, that's you one way of doing and it. You soak the bullets in pee. Not for muskets. Yeah. But like, you more towards muskets. What Christina said also works too. Yeah, but not but for that's muskets. A bit more I'm you sorry, you points. were saying yeah. bullets, and I was thinking actual bullets, not musket balls. I mean, that's sort of what I had assumed too for the bad news, since musket balls wouldn't be that good for them. Mm. But, anyway, yeah, I guess I'll just have a put in like a, not, a water tight bag and soak them in there. Bullets. But yeah, so, so you're gonna have a jar of dorade and soak your your musky balls in it. <laughs> uh, for uh, bad news, Betsy, I'll 
do it for those since I, I figured those would be actual better. But do you have hollow point bullets? No, that's why I'm soaking them. Oh my god. Okay, deal with the logistics of this stuff later. No, it's already settled. Hmm. I get my bad news bullets, soak those, since they're more musket ball shaped. And since we... that's what we're going with. Alright, we understand you're poisoning your bullets. You poison your bullets and we move on. Yeah, I wanted to clear that because it wasn't really addressed. Anyway. So yeah, no, I uh, I tell Quiet to um, continue doing her exercises and practicing with her sword while I'm gone. Does she indicate that she's going to do that? Possibly. Possibly. I do have a scry orb. I can check in on you. She motions that... Um... <laughs> You're the last person who would waste the scry orb on it. <laughs> How does she motion that? Uh, with a pen and paper. <laughs> also, you can basically speak sign language now, or at least your version of it. We've established that. Okay, yeah, fair. Um, well, no, you said she motions it. That was thinking pantomiming. <laughs> yes, so she mimes it. <laughs> Uh, no. You, really? Yeah, you, Scryorb, really? <laughs> okay, but I will be checking in if I have spell slots at the end of the night. Or at the end of the day, okay? Wait, no, I can. Shoot. I'll ask someone to check in on you. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! I will be contacting you. And every night I'll use a... Uh, uh, Always watching. Come on. If you don't practice every day, you'll lose proficiency with it. I don't mean that meta wise. I mean, like, that as in, like, falling out of practice sort of thing. Like, you need to practice every day. And then every every night, I'll. Every night, I'll use the. Um. Ascending to message, uh, Anna, Anna Ripley, I think, is the one who's out and about. The Harmacist? Yeah, the yep. Harmacist. Dr. Ripley, the Harmacist. And if I have one available, I will spawn one every night, uh, getting an update. I'm just waiting for Off the feet. one night we get attacked when we're resting and we use all our spell slots. Sometimes Why we just don't use you? spell slots. Um, yes. Of of the NPCs, who would you say is like close to quiet? Like of of the N NPCs, has she made any other friends? Um. Make an insight check. Dirty yeah, 20? For the most part, she seems pretty friendly with a lot of people. That that kind of person who's kind of friends. Okay. Um, uh there doesn't seem to be any particularly strong bonds of friendship. In any of them, though. And it's Anne who's, like, in charge while we're gone, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, unless anyone else has anything else? Um... I think we could head out. All right. And so, your first day of travel begins. Who would like to roll d d20 for me? I'll do it. Me. All right. And then I need a survival check for I you. I would like to. What if I did it? Would we get advantage 
I did it since I lived in this area. I got a 19. Well, you haven't lived I in this area yet. I read a book. I read a book about surviving the Ashkeeper Peaks. Can I have advantage for survival? I'm not here. Can I have advantage? <laughs> Tina, yes. Pebble, no. <laughs> Um, advantage. That's a nat 20 for a 29. I got a 19 on the random d20 and a 29 on the survival. And travel goes spectacularly. You actually managed to take a shortcut and arrive at the river towards the end of the day. So you guys are standing before or a river that goes from the Ustalok to the Gehem base. Kind of cuts the mountain range apart. Just for the record, I also have the Wanderer feature from the Outlander background. Just can't get lost, right? Uh, you have an excellent memory for maps and geography. You can always recall general layouts of terrain, settlements, and other features around you. In addition, you can find food and fresh water for yourself and up to five other people each day, provided the land offers berries, small game, water, and so forth. Okay. So it doesn't say anything about not being able to get lost, but, like, I'm good at it. Oh, yeah. And food and water. Not that we count that. So it's, it's towards the end of the day. Back. Um, you guys are shrouded in darkness by the mountain. And you're currently at the front of a river that's just rushing past you. you are can there see a good trees? Of rapids. There are several trees around this area, but they're kind of like graggly and kind of clinging to the rocks. But there's trees. Um, cool. Are we making camp here, or...? What, guys? How close are we to the river? We're, We're at the river. You're on the bank. We're on the bank, and it's like I'm a river. Back, guys. Okay. And it's like rapids again? It is. It's pretty swift. Mm -hmm. You can see rapids further up and further down. I'll say, so yeah, did we I'll head, I'll like, straight south? It was set up, like, a bit farther off the bank. Uh yeah, pretty much pretty much straight south. Is Stonehaven on the peak next to the E or next to the P? What? Oh, that's right, you guys have a different map. It's not very specific. Let me pull up the actual map. Wait, we have a different map. It's the one that's indented. Yeah, it's the one that's I, like I have a physical mountain. map. There are two that are dented. Wait, who's that? It's like on the left. Kind of near the river. Where it like splits it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little dent in the one that Stonehaven's on. Yes, but they copied and pasted that one mountain image multiple times throughout the range. And there are two that are in about the same location. Oh boy. No, I'm saying you. And then... What are you looking? I'm confused. Sorry. Get it. Um, tool. Plug this in. If it lets me, damn it. There we go. There you go, that one. Oh, okay. Good to hey, know. Get power. I don't believe the mountains on these maps are super well planned out. But that is the the peak your town adorns. Prime real estate. So, 
need some yeah, free right. real Thank estate. You very much. I would like to. So are we just like at the left fork of the river? Yes. Is this where we're stopping for the night? I would like Sorry, to climb up into a tree and I would like to take my sleep in the tree. Sleep in the tree. Okay. I'd like to find a comfy tree. Well, like, you know, I'm a cat. I can find a comfy branch or limb or whatever. You just okay. admitted you're a cat. Sam. Sarah just admitted huh? she was a cat. Um, she has no right to be upset when she gets called a cat from now on. Okay, but it's okay um, if I say it. It's a, derogatory when you say it. Because being in the room with three different people who are all trying to talk, that's called it was just getting irritating. Right. Uh, understandable. No, it's called racism. And you're being racist. Um, I'd like to send a, a sending to Anne. A er, sorry, not Anne, Anna. The harmonist. And I would like to say, what is going on in the world right now? You have 25 words. Sum it up real nice. And then the rest of it just blah, 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 blah. We don't have to fill the words. I thought really... that's the new uh, rule that we had to do. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's definitely not. Okay, I thought. Sorry, I thought we were just filled. It's an unspoken okay. rule. Well, then I don't fill the rest with blah 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 blah. Uh, not much has happened. I actually remember um, it. Yesterday, I I couldn't. I don't think there's anything that you would need to worry about specifically. Cook dinner for everyone. What is he making for dinner? Yeah, working with rations. <laughs> uh, I find fresh. I Wait, why find, am I asking? <laughs> I find fresh stuff for everybody. Such as? I don't know what's in the area. Berries, if it's available. Probably some berries and. Maybe some fish, Roots. seeing we're at the river. You can probably get fish from the river, yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll fry everything up. Make a good stir fry then. Or poison bear. Um, can I roll a performance check on that food? Sure. Can you have advantage because I found fresh stuff for everybody? Yes. Thank you, Star. Much, much, much needed to much <laughs> needed. Go. Okay. Go. Okay, the first one is 30, and then the second roll is 26, so the first is 30. Um, it's good food. <laughs> well, a lot better than the one that's certainly going to make. Yeah. But right now I'm not doing anything with food because not much people trust me, which is understandable. But as long as I'm able to get their trust back eventually, it's okay if party never. Members. Huh? This is your party members. 
piano. They trust me somewhat. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I'm talking about like doing work for the village so they can trust me a little bit more. Okay. So, who's going on watch? I'll go on the first watch. I will. Go first Do you want to take it in pairs? Why not? Um, I'll take second watch with Ben if he wants to. Yeah, we can go second watch. Uh, Ben, if if Ben takes third watch, that that'll, well, that'll no, be no, after. Third watch. Well, no, shouldn't he? Doesn't he need four hours consecutive? Yeah, but I'm good now. Like, I'm full like how long are on you everything. Guys your watch? Are you sleeping for 12 hours? Okay, two hours is what watches typically are. Because yeah. you sleep for six hours, you watch for two hours, that's a long rest. Yeah. But then that's just a lot of watches. Yes, but then everybody gets a long rest and we only take eight hours. Well, is that even possible? Well, yeah, with Ben, I guess, maybe. yeah. So there would be four watches. I said I'd take first with Mokdo. You said you'd take second... We don't have Pebble or any NPCs. I'll take I'll take second with uh, Mito for the that two hours. And then Ben would just and take then... the last two. Yeah. By himself. Where did all of our NPCs go? <laughs> well, I'll do that. Sure. Left, and then everyone's back at, at the town. I, 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 yeah, mean, I know where all the empty are. For you to keep track of. Uh, okay, that was a lot of people. But Sam, else. guess what? You get to have more empty seats. Text, on. please. Make that joke too many times, and I'll make a lot less. Wait, what? <laughs> He's joking that we were gonna go get more NPCs for me to <laughs> need to role play. Seventeen. Seventeen. Did you want both of us to roll for it, or just um, one? You can choose to give one person advantage, or you can just let one person roll, or you can both roll separately. It's kind of up to you guys. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Is so it a uh, perception? Yep. Yeah. It's a 29. 29? All right. The night progresses smoothly. Late into your watch, um, you do see um, a small pack of wolves that eyes you from a distance, but eventually decides you guys are too big a group to move on. What? Can you repeat what said? Wolves. But they Wolves. pass on. So... Oh. The hour of morning comes. You guys are still oh, no. kind of. I'm sorry. What? Well, I was um... wondering what all that clicking noise is. What clicking noise? Just like a like. I don't know. Are there are multiple people in cars right now. Yeah, Wait. That. Do you, you need? That? Do you need? Wouldn't you need bird? each watch to roll a survival or? Somebody's chair is creaky. I'm not hearing anything. Like, fix your chair. <laughs> I'm hearing you like click, 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 click. Well, now you're clicking, so 
Well, did that's because I'm replicating the noise. Did you need everybody who was doing a watch to roll a survival, or did you just want the one for the night? Or we're just gonna, perception? We're just gonna do one for the. Okay, night. we'll switch who's you know. we'll switch who's taking watch first, so that way different people can roll. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what are we doing on this next day? Crossing the river. Yeah. Cool. Uh, about how far across is the river? First. Um, you guys are at a relatively thin part of the river. It's probably about 200 feet. 100 feet? The thinner it is, the faster the water. You can see that there's different parts of the river that are definitely slower, like, <sighs> looking across, but it's... How deep is this water? Deeper. From the edge, you can see the, the rocks down below and the fish swimming in it, but it, it quickly gets deeper as it goes. And we have to cross this river to continue our journey. Hey, Star. Oh, we'll around. Hey, Star, you think you could, like, dimension door me across? I'd rather not go across this river. I, I, I grab your shoulder. I... Um, uh, one second. Uh, I grab your shoulder. Yeah, sure, buddy. Uh, and we're there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You guys watch the data mention to her cross. Leaving the rest of you to Not figure out how you're going to get across. Right hey, Ben, you, you want to teleport across? Well, meow! Meow's a strong guy. He can do it. Uh, ben will. How nod. good of a swimmer are it is? <laughs> okay, uh, I just I just tap his shoulder and we're just across instantly. M Mito, <laughs> have you ever swum before? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be an experience. Unless you have okay. another way you'd like to get across the river. <laughs> get across is it? How many feet across is it? About 200 feet. This will be a swim. Yeah, no. And if it's thinner, then the water is going a lot faster. It's not <laughs> exactly jumpable. Might as well start swimming. Yeah, as you step into the rapidly flowing water, go ahead and make a, an athletics check. This will be a oh, uh, disadvantage thing. since you've never swum before. <laughs> I'm I'll give him a bardic inspiration and say, Mito, you can do it, you can do it. As you I become his... a true here. Mito kind of just steps hesitantly into the, the water a little bit and like watches as it kind of swirls past his legs and it just jumps in. <laughs> At first, it seems a bit like floundering, a bit bit of a doggy paddle, but seems to get the hang of it pretty quickly and start pushing his way across. You can see that the current is pushing him pretty far downstream. Okay. Is he able to fight against the current effectively, or is it is it... Or is it just too strong to even try? You, you could try, and for an accomplished swimmer, you probably could beat it, but... Um, well, having no prior swimming experience, he's, he's doing very well. He's strong. He's, he's strong. strong like me, which is a negative one. So if I did that, <laughs> I'd fail. Star. Yeah, that's right. You die once, you can die again. All right, another athletics check. Disadvantage, please, Mito. I remember you have Bardic Inspiration. Which it's is a D10. A D10. Uh, you better use that Bardic Inspiration, bro. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> 14. Okay. 
14. It's uh, the water's going pretty fast now, but you're you're still managing to make your way across. How is he actually confused. making progress towards us from our perspective? It does look like he's making progress towards, although you do like he's kind of like about fifty feet down river now. Making progress towards the shore. How far? Not... Yeah. Not sure. one that's 200 feet long. 60 oh. feet into the river now. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah. I have 50 Mito, feet of another rope. Another athletics check at disadvantage, please. Hey! So, like, if we can tie lengths of rope together, we could, you know, throw it to him and try to help him. Mito, you're coming kind of close to the middle of the river now. Come on, Mito, you got this! You're, you're Have another pretty, bardic you're inspiration. Good. Swimming is a weird experience, for sure. But you strong. But <laughs> when you got guns like these. <laughs> <laughs> the water tanks. Uh, you got another bardic inspiration from me. Nice, nice. Leaves that on the next one. Well, let's see, I'll roll first. Roll. Oh, Dark. Right I should have done that. I fucked up. Amazing perception. With nope. my hello, with my okay. amazing perception. With your amazing perception, you notice that the water upstream is starting to turn this like darkish color, like it's covered in shadow. I look to what could be casting the shadow. So you kind of look at the the water closest to you and see that it's starting to turn darker. You look upstream and you can start to make out a bit of a wave building. Why? Like a tidal wave? A little bit like a tidal wave. Standing on top of this wave is this figure that looks a bit like, almost like Titian, if Titian was a person. Um, a, I'm a sorry. It looks black like black turtle shell. <laughs> you can see a, a black turtle <laughs> is riding on top of this wave, like it's a surfboard. Its its fingers kind of extend into like almost like shelled claws, and it, it looks like a real nasty <laughs> turtle. Like mean. Just snarling in general and looks very angry. You can see it like bright green glowing eyes and a little bit of a stream of this shadowy smoke curling off the shell as it starts as it's like just pushing its way downstream on top of this title. Hmm. Probably not friendly then. Um I rolled a wisdom check to see if I would think he's friendly or not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, guys, I think we have a problem. What's the problem? I point. Can I look? <laughs> Very easy I'll to see. Also look. You can see now can that I it's be able rapidly. To detect undead. You can. Uh, I, wait, how, what's the range on detect on him? Oh, good point. I don't think it's... Two, Two feet. Sixty feet. <laughs> yeah. Sixty feet now. You can't run that closer. Um, I'm gonna turn to Mito and yell, swim faster. How many other people have rope? What if I use command and yell at him to swim faster? Would he swim faster? Well, I think command is one word, right? Accelerate. All right. Well, <laughs> Accelerate. I don't think I can. It comes pro swimmer immediately. <laughs> defend, auto defenestrate. What if I just said why? 
If I said fast, it would Fly, you fast. fools! You, you'd certainly try. If you or at least for it. accelerate. Mito, How you see is Mito, people pointing upstream and, and yelling at you from the other side of the river, but it's a little hard to hear with like the rushing water and stuff. Make a perception check to see what they're they're talking well, about. Well, the first thing he hears is, "You can do it, Mito!" Followed by, "Oh 19. crap!" <laughs> a nineteen. You you hear them go from encouraging to sounding extremely concerned, and and looking up over the waters. You see a, a small tidal wave beginning to build and rush towards you. You should probably go fast. You're, you can make another athletics check. And it's no longer a disadvantage because you've kind of learned how to swim now. Okay, and you remember, you have the... D now, the <laughs> you want to add the d10 to that anyway? <laughs> we'll save it for when I get like in that one. Um, <laughs> and you start zooming. <laughs> you reached a part in the river where it's a bit, a little bit slower, and as the current kind of curls around you, it starts lessening and pulling as much. That or the fear of God has been put into you. Um, whenever Mido's in sixty feet, I'm gonna use command and yell accelerate. All right. I don't uh, think line. that'll help, but... You are okay. now 120 feet across the river, and all of you hear this distant yell, Mito, I told you if I ever saw your face again, <laughs> I'd turn you into a skeleton! <laughs> what? Uh, please roll initiative. Okay, hold on. How far away is Mito? Uh, what? He's 120 feet into the river. So, 80 feet? 16. 80 feet until he reaches your side. How far away yeah. is the dude? Oh, I couldn't get this one fighting star. I still wouldn't have gone first. No, you wouldn't have, because I got a 21. Yeah, you get a 21. How far away is the turtle dude? Um, I think it would be easier if I just set up an owl bear. So, um, I have. Owl bear where? Same owl bear arena or something? Else? Nope. Campaign general. Can't. The thing is turtle. Yeah, you know, what did you do to piss off the have, turtle? Uh, water. There we go. Oh, no. slow. You can just run away. The this turtle. one's surfing. It's really it's surfing. Really slow. I thought it was pebble contest. I really but... did. You said Titian live. Which direction is the water similar. moving? We'll say that the water is moving um, downwards. Can you be like stop water from moving? Like just tell it to stop. I mean, command the water to stop. Why is Pebble doing something? No, but if Pebble were here, we could shape water. I'm pretty useful sometimes, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Well, well you chose not to be here, you know? so I don't want to hear it. That's only 75 feet, feet across, by way. the way. Yeah, this is just a kind of a representation. <laughs> He's probably about, about here. Uh, if you put him here and called each square 10 feet, that'd work. Sounds good. So we could just double whatever. The uh, is. sorry. Um, here, and called each. How do I ping? I can't ping. Uh, this um, one. Grab the the laser pointer. This one. Oh, why is that bigger? I'm... What the? F you can also just grab them with your hand and move it. I could. Okay, then that would put him here. 10, so he's 20, thirty feet from us now. Thirty. 40, 50, uh, no, each one of these feet squares are going to be 10 feet. About. Oh, okay. Ish. Three, four, five. I'll make your land better. <laughs> what are you talking about? This land is amazing. <laughs> this land is your land. Okay, Mido, there's... You recognize this 
this voice. Um, I'll let you choose from where, and not to give away any secrets, of course. Because this is totally relevant. Actually, just back them All up right, a little bit to role? make the math easier. Okay. Like, it doesn't really matter how far away he is from the other edge. In fact, you could just erase the other edge. Could I have been following him down the water uh, so I could keep yelling words of encouragement to him? So, like, as he moves down, I, f yes. I, I move down with him. That is perfectly fine. I would have been moving down so I could yell accelerate when he's close enough. Or yeah, faster. Oh, it goes just 80 right, feet, so actually. Do it. It's gonna be done. Think... Oh, okay, that works. And how far would there we go? And how yeah, just... <laughs> how quickly is the dude moving? Uh, he is speeding down this this lane. <laughs> so meter, you can you can keep swimming, or you can prepare for like, I guess battle. Well, I don't think I'm very good at water combat, so I'm gonna try and keep swimming. If I can make it here, it would be nice. All right. So I am throwing Mito at the top of initiative because I haven't rolled reasons. yet because I'm a dummy. Yep. And then everyone else roll. Uh, mine's already in there. I got it twenty. Twenty. That's probably going to put you at the top. Of this. Oh shoot! I roll initiative at advantage and I forgot. August. Then. My initiative in in initiative rolls. I rolled a sixteen. I also rolled a 16. I have a plus 4 to dex. Uh, my hair sheet. I have a plus 3. So I go first. Okay. Um, I should have... Smokto got a 20. I think, Star, you're next with 16. Mm -hmm. And then August didn't roll, as well as Ben. You said yours was also 16. All right. Who has a higher dex between Ben and... She does. Okay. All right. Mito, I need that athletics check for swimming. one on the bardic inspiration so an 11 an 11 you're you're caught up in the moment a little bit and you're not quite sure what to do what is your ask. swim speed he doesn't Don't have a swim speed one well you, everyone has kind of a swim speed not a stated uh, one see. it's like a climbing speed Uh, when, while climbing or swimming, each foot of movement costs um, one extra. swim 20 feet per round, I think? Yeah. Yeah, so... So you can move 10. Oh, wait, no, I have 40 normally, so it would be 20. All right. Vito has moved. And you see that the tidal wave is almost upon Mito now. No. As the water is just rushing towards him. Makdo, it's your turn. <laughs> At the top of initiative. Uh, so. Crap. Oh, perfect. Um, hold on. My hair is out there. I'm going to cast uh, Hypnotic Pattern on the turtle. 
So isn't that an area of effect? Yes, but it's uh, only what's the size? It has a 120 foot range, and it's a 30 by 30 foot cube. Okay, so you're just putting it in the cube. Yeah. I will draw that. All right, what type of save is it? Wisdom. Wisdom. Perchance, what happens if they fail? Um, they are considered incapacitated and can't move until they take damage. Or someone shakes them out of it. And what they if they're moving at, like, speed. a velocity? They have zero movement speed and incapacitated. That's what it says. So I feel like it would keep moving them, but they'd be incapacitated and they can't move of their own volition. Yeah, they can't take reactions or actions. I did one of the only things I can do at a distance. Um, you see the, the, the tidal wave begins to kind of abide a little bit as it slows. All right, Star. Uh, what is, what is you, what are you gonna do? Uh, I am going to. Oh boy. Hmm. Where exactly is August right now? Hey, there's our other bar. There. <laughs> I am very grumpy kitty, because I did not want to get my fur wet. Uh, and I'm going to dimension door. I'm going to dimension door over to Mito. Hi, buddy. We can do this, right? And give him uh, another bardic inspiration. What, what's going on? We're trying. Mito has pissed hey. some turtle off, and he's trying. Is to that two Mito. or three bardic inspirations? Like I've, I've lost. I don't know count. why. This is, this is your third. Yeah. The first one was cast by August, so this is my second. Yeah. I've yet to roll above a two on them, so. Every so used to. Wait, is it a turtle in the water? It's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. Oh, it's a oh, and I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of like hanging on one? to. Um. Yeah, like a humanoid tor turtle. Like Mido. Like master. Yeah, like a, like a ninja turtle. <laughs> or master. Uh, can I get his autograph? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. He's got like these like. From an alligator turtle kind of shell that's just like this black encrusted. Trying to be nicer to the party, some turtle's trying to kill Mito. First thing he thinks, can I have his autograph? <laughs> what is anyway, this, who's this, after me? That that's met? my turn. It's me. Ben. I'm trying to figure out still who else has rope. I don't have rope. Dude, me. I just banffed out into the middle of the water. He has to yeah, and long you, he has to carry you, don't you? Did. Doesn't he? Or are you se swimming separately from him? Did Star have rope before? I guess I've taken the last one initiative. Because uh, like yes. I've asked if anyone had rope to possibly tie together to throw to him and to help him. And Star dismissed that idea. Star said that that wouldn't help. And that was the only thing she said on that matter. Why wouldn't a rope help? Ropes are incredibly useful. Four party members trying to pull one in to help them from swimming. It's a bad idea. So I will shoot the tortoise. Tort, 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 huh? Tortle. Sounds Hold like on. a good Let's idea go. there. I want to shoot the turtle. Since, you know... That's apparently. Here's the. Wait, hold up. What was that? Oh, wait, I was on my feet. Never mind. First attack will be. Hmm. 
Actually, you know, run that by me real quick. This turtle can't take any actions or reactions, right? Unless it's hit. Yeah. Oh boy. If I were to knock this thing prone, DM, what it, would it, it, you say? If it takes would damage. Mm hmm. But I could also knock it prone. Well, technically, that's you can prone. slap that's it. Prone. You can slap it out of the thing without doing damage. So, how would I do that? No, I mean you can slap it out of the hypnotic pattern without doing damage. So I don't think that would apply either. So knocking it out of the thing would be a bad idea. Yeah, we don't want to knock it out of the hypnotic pattern. August, okay, so do you have any rope? You have one minute to finish your journey. I was asking if August had any rope, and I also wanted to ask if Mito now has to carry Star, or are they both I had any rope? Yeah, I have 50 feet of rope I can handle to you. I would like to get that. Uh, on your turn, you can hand me that on your turn. Or if you want to tie the rope together to potentially make like 99, 100 feet of rope, that's great. Does Star have to... She says she was clinging on to Mito. Does he make disadvantage on his like athletics checks since he's carrying her and swimming her neck? Because currently, I'm just going to save a like, reaction. I imagine she's just going to teleport. Thank you! If that's what... Well, you didn't say that. You just said you bamfed in the water and started hold on, holding on to me, though. All right. And then you spend your turn wondering about rope. August, it's your turn. Um, so how far away is this turtle from us? Uh, the, um, you can measure it. it. They're five-foot the squares. Go to uh, camp I'm on general. my phone. Oh. Uh, I'm on my phone. Oh, no. I told you this already. And yeah, but you like... Can do it on your phone, but I understand. Where's August? Where is August? Is he, he's not even on the map. Okay. Why is this well, yeah, an isosceles triangle? The isosceles triangle offends me. There you go. Where is okay. Where's the isosceles? Oh. No, that's good. It's the water direction. I the know, but I want it to be an equal. I want it to be an equilateral triangle. Oh hell. Has he tried to attack anyone yet? He uh, looks. No. He looks not friendly. He I also shouted, "Nito, right I told you if I saw you again, I'd turn you into a skeleton." He's currently incapacitated, and if you attack him, he can move again. Yeah, right now he's kind of just floating. Does he have to make a wisdom saving throw on your turn or something? Nope. What spell is he under? Hypnotic pattern. Nice the spell only ends if the affected creature takes any damage or someone else uses an action to shake the creature out of its stupor. Creature out of its stoop. Okay. Um, just don't get out of there. I'll just take the end of the ro uh, rope and tie it together. My rope to the end of the other rope. Just tie ropes together? <laughs> yep. Alright. Mito, you're up. What would you like to do? Doing uh, Star is going to teleport me out. Just, just let the current carry you, probably? Yeah, I'll just go with the flow. Hey. Right, go with the so, no longer having control over the uh, the wave it was riding, the turtle just tumbles into the water and disappears under it. Okay. 
great news. So we have till yeah. starts drowning. Mocto. It's your turn again. Okay. Would the box still be there since I haven't dropped the spell? Oh, yeah. It was just the one creature, so I, I removed it. It's I technically like on a location, not the not the creature. So yeah. if they leave the location, it st stops or something? No, uh, it's no, more it's like if, if they... If someone enters it, they have to make the wisdom yeah. check. Yeah. And it isn't like I can choose who it affects. Okay. Let's make that back. To do what to do. Um, that's about about thirty feet. It's absolutely will... not. Um, will... um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, that's twenty-five. I hate this measuring stick. <laughs> and you're just not good at using it. Um, it no, I'm it's a really gonna... bad measuring stick. I'm just going to repair an action, the action sleep, for when the tur turtle resurfaces. Wait, hold on, never mind, I need to check the range. Oh yeah, yeah, when the turtle resurfaces, I'm going to cast sleep on him. Yeah, there we go. At third level. Okay, sleep at third level, um, if the turtle resurfaces. That range. would mean star. It's your turn. Bam. Um, we bam to right in between Marco, and I'm assuming the that dude's August. <sighs> and I like I look like a wet cat. First of all, um, and I'm not happy. Um, yeah, so I, I just bamf us back over here, and, um, I'm gonna say my swimming is worse than Mito's, because I don't even like water all that much, but I didn't really need to swim, I just needed to hold on to Mito for six seconds. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, but, like, I don't, I, 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 I do not prefer water. <laughs> You know, what did you do to that turtle? Well, that's a long story. Mito, what did you do to that turtle? Alright, Ben, turtle? it's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna ready in action to shoot the turtle. Ready in action to shoot the turtle, alright. August, it's your turn. Oh, could I have, could I, I see have, the turtle like, little? shaken, like, no, try to get some wet off my fur? Is it too opaque to see through it? Uh, currently, yes, and at this distance, yeah. I would like to, I guess, ready in action. Hmm. Uh, I'll tell you that action is one quick second. I just want to find out which one I want to use. Um, is it hard to hear with the waves? It's not difficult to hear, no. Like, if someone was struggling to swim, would it be hard to hear people? If you were the one swimming, you might have a difficulty hearing people. Okay, so definitely not someone's going to have to hear me. How high about the level of my wrist? Sure, I guess I'll ready my action when I see him. Uh, no. Does the water flow towards Lake Ustalak? Uh, yeah. No, it flows away. 
It flows away from Lake Ustalak. It goes into the Gehem Basin, and from there it drains. Awesome. Good to know. Sorry, it's kind of hard to go through everything because everything's on a different menu. Question, are the boats one way? Boats? Just boat travel is just something I'm curious about. Like, is it only downriver or can you go up? It is difficult, more difficult to go upriver, and it depends on what sections you want to come to. Okay. But you could theoretically hire a boat to take you up. All right. Thank you. How many people are our inner group right now? There's five of us, right, right now? Yep. Sure, I'll do this. Um, I'll go ahead. Everyone gains 11 temporary hit points. And you can use reaction to move up to your movement speed without provoking attack of opportunity. I shake more water off of my fur. I just love the silence and just hearing the birds and owls tweet. Oh yeah, that's right. We have uh, sound effects. Just had the calm background because it's just under the water. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Alright, so everyone gets 11 temporary hit points and can, can walk with your reaction if they need be. Um, I'm gonna move away from the river as far as I'm allowed to. Your movement uh, up to your movement speed, and then I'm just for the heck of it, since Star's complaining about it, I'll use prestidigitation to. Can prestidigitation uh, dry something though? It can clean, but it can't dry. Um, I'll warm up your clothes. Am I allowed to move my full 30 feet? Warm now, just stay on the map. Now I'm just steaming. <laughs> yes, I'll just warm you up so it just seems like. Uh, like I don't think I can technically move oh, water right. unless it's something like shaped water or something. But it says I can heat something up, so I'll heat your clothes up to, you know, keep you warm, I guess. I don't know. What's the temperature like? You said it was like it late spring, there. so it's kind of warm. It's late spring. The water is like frigidly chilly, but outside the water it's not too bad. There. Yeah. And eleven hit points. Temporary. Good response, good response. <laughs> yeah, don't run away. Falling a pebble. Sure, good Oh, that's where I left this. Good to know. So, Thanda Makto, Star, it's your turn. I am going to point at the water a bit downstream from where the turtle, the turtle dude fell in. And I'm going to cast Message, and I'm going to be like, What on earth is your deal? What did Mito do to you? Uh, there's no response. Could still be incapacitated. Depends if he's taking drowning damage. Uh, he then could still respond to that, because it doesn't take a reaction or an action. It's just a thing. Oh, true. Okay. He's too angry, too, though. Continue holding my plus action. Blood. To shoot as soon as I see the turtle again. What was it? Turn you into a skeleton? I never got to detect undead on him. 
Never got close enough, which is kind of good that he didn't get close enough. Is it safe to say this guy wants to kill me, though? Probably. Um, Unless Green is something said. else. <laughs> I mean, like, now would be a good time to keep moving. It, yeah, that's all I'm doing for my turn. Wait, what is it? What did you do, Ben? Continue to hold my actions for shooting the turtle as soon as I see it again. Why aren't we running? So, He's not action. there. Let's get away. Well, he's not looking at us. He's going to use my August. movement too to get further Return. away. But you're going to use your movement as well? Yeah, to back away further. All right. Wait. I don't... I... Man. <laughs> um, I'll just follow the party at this point. So, how's others starting to move away? Sounds like you're attacking. Okay. I'll just stay with the party and has anyone taken damage? Uh, no, I still don't believe so. <laughs> Um, would anyone like to take damage? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Protestation to make Star a little bit more warm. <laughs> I'm just glaring at you, like, really. <laughs> what else did you do? I'm just like, what? You're complaining about it. So there's no immediate threat right now. <laughs> Yeah, the dude was a wimp. I he's yell into the water. the water right now. I don't even know if he's still alive. Watch him pop up out of the water right in front of you. I well, dare I him. Away. All right, Mito, you're up. What would you like to do? Hold on. You moved me away from the water, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll hold an action to uh, throw some of the battle axe at it if it comes within 30 feet and just kind of taunt it, saying, you'll never get me. All right. <laughs> are you gonna move at all, or are you just gonna keep the position? Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. Usually, when you say that, you're moving. <laughs> That's just sheer confidence, saying you'll never get me not moving. As the water becomes dark, it starts bubbling up as the turtle just rises out of it. <laughs> you, those of you who saved your reactions, can use them now. Um, yeah, I don't believe it's within 30 feet of you, Mido, but yeah, it's not. Uh, he's close enough to me. But I think Ben I is... I sleep at third level. Okay. Does a 15 hit? A 15 does first. not. Ah. Okay. You fire a bullet and just watch as it ricochets off the hardened shell. Dang it. Okay, that... Is fine to use. 34? I don't think he's asleep. Uh, 34, it seems to have no effect. That's very unfortunate for a 98. I just gotta hope one day. I could then max him I could put someone to sleep for. For a miracle. Or next level, just don't prepare the spell? Maybe? I don't have a choice. It's oh, it's always, always prepared. prepared? Oh, fun. Yeah. Alright, it's like one of my only ranged spells, so. That's everyone that was, be able, that was able to use it. Alright. 
the turtle is just kind of turtle is just kind of glaring at Shimido. I glare back. <laughs> You're not Damn. out of it yet. Is it? Turns and descends back into the water. Pebble. All right, you guys are out of combat now. Pebble, <laughs> you've got some splaining to do. Wait, what just happened? Or not Pebble. The, um, just cut out for a solid ten seconds. Later. That's wonderful. Cool, Mito, you've got some slating to do. Sure, that was nothing. It's just probably like mistaken identity or something. No. Why are we? Mito, he called you out by turtle. name. Said you're not out of this yet, and that disappeared back in the boat. He literally okay, called said, you out by name. <laughs> yeah, it just is... it's Maybe trouble. Maybe we just misheard. Yeah, I probably said. Makto, why are you backing him up? I'm giving him benefit of the doubt. Hey, wait, don't you have Zone of Truth? Um, pretty sure I don't have that prepared right now, and I think that's a third level spell, and I don't have any third level spell slots. Well, prepare it for the morning. We can oh, worry about this tomorrow. What happened yeah, to uh, whatever? Trust? What happened to? Not when you're obviously lying. I don't think she can no, make him not. use the spell. Do you know yeah. if he's lying though? Do we know can if I... he's lying? Okay, I heard him. I was right there when he said Mito. Can I? Stop gaslighting me! <laughs> He could be very deceptive. The turtle could have been lying. Can we? Can we just? Then why are you trying to say on. it's mistaken identity instead of saying you have no idea why he's after you? Then it's a possibility. Can we continue? I assume we we're continue. walking. This is part of the game. Yeah. Probably yeah, I assume we're walking. Is this too no. boring for you, August? I mean, the turtle no, could have been, like, a bit senile, out. too. Like, he looked pretty old. He also looked pretty evil. Senile. Right, Minu? Don't you think he was probably just senile and thought he was someone else? Yeah, I probably just had a memory lapse or something. Jeez, Mito, I didn't think you had any enemies. Doesn't. Everyone's got their secrets. I thought you told us all your secrets. Maybe I did, and this has nothing. Not to you. Do with I'm talking to August. Damn, what? So rude. Sorry, I didn't what does that do with August? What you say? I responded to you saying everybody's got their secrets. Saying I thought you told us all your secrets. I I still got stuff up my sleeves. I was alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all this is well, way too complicated. <sighs> I'm gonna, like, this entire time, I'm, like, trying to wring out my clothes, trying to, like, get my fur dry. Does anyone have a towel or dry cloth or anything? You know, you did a pretty good job, good job swimming out there. Uh, August seems pretty spaced out. Sam, can I try to reflect on those, more of those memories? Yeah, I'll have Star and a uh, block. Can I, make, I can I make, like, a wisdom check or something to see if I can, like, control them? Roll persuasion check. A persuasion? Sure. I'm good at those. Make sure he doesn't walk off a yeah, shouldn't something. shouldn't we also like if shouldn't he have to also roll something to make sure he doesn't like walk into a tree? Perception at disadvantage, or I can just take the uh, 
minus five on my passive perception. Just uh, take the minus five. Okay, that leaves me at a thirteen. You, you can walk while lost in thought. That's that's a thing that does happen. I would. Uh, fifteen, Sam. A fifteen. The different uh, you are unable like... to wrangle a hold of any of these memories you were told of. Hmm. I'll hand you a floated block. After not being able to do it for a little bit, I'll just wait until tomorrow or tonight when I sleep. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. We can continue on our walk. Anyway, I asked if anyone had a towel or anything, yeah. a dry rag. Mino gave you one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Over... Said it like three times. I didn't hear you over August talking. Oh August is much louder. I will slightly, I'll slightly warm that towel. Oh my God! Stop making everything warm. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, stop making everything warm. What's wrong with it being warm? It becomes swampy. What's in the dry? I'll, I'll slightly warm her shoes. She doesn't wear shoes, you- I'll slightly warm her pants. Nice. Warm one more thing, and I am going to make you hurt. I warm her t-shirt. She just won't wear it. You had a bad for that star. I... I'm gonna lash out with my claws. Like, get- Away! I mean, I'm gonna I'm, say, uh, well, you I mean, go I'm ahead, ten obviously. feet away from you. I mean, I can, uh, that's kind of close. I miss anyway. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have happened if we just used the rope. I'm sorry. How did you expect to get the rope to him? Uh, we throw it, it as one does. I'm sorry. Can uh, any of you throw rope? 80 feet? I yes. I can throw a rock. I can tie the rope to the end of a rock and throw it. Try and start. Or I could me... just throw rope. Since you don't want me warming things up, I'll slightly chill her towel. Can you please stop? <laughs> Well, choose your mind. Do you want do you want to be warm or do you want to be cold? I want you to stop. <laughs> Please. Is that... Are you okay? Yes, that is her. Oh, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> August won't leave me alone. It's just it's just it's too much. Maybe you should just turn the rope like the rest of us were going to. I figured that wasn't going to work. I saw our friend was in danger, and I acted. I appreciate it. It was very effective. How brave of you. I slightly warm. <laughs> My only <laughs> question is, <gasps> why not do that sooner off. when he was clearly struggling to swim? C I wasn't struggling. I was just, just yeah, he off. wasn't he struggling. That's the point. He was doing really he well. He was rolling with disadvantage, though. Okay, you know, we couldn't great. see the disadvantage, and he rolled pretty good. He did pretty good despite it. Disadvantage is meta knowledge. Like, worrying to swim, though? Disadvantage is meta knowledge. I mean, but then just considering the river and having a backup plan. I was, I've already had a bad experience with rivers as mock, though. I was learning on the spot, to be fair. So, probably wasn't pretty. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's going to be clear that you never done something if you're doing it for the first time. Okay, there's a moth in my room. Okay, no, but, um... There is. Okay, so I was just clarifying that the disadvantage is meta-knowledge. Uh, when... I said I take off, I meant I take off running... Um, and I, I run my full movement plus my feline agility, uh, far ahead, and then I just stop, and I continue trying to dry myself off with the rag. What is this? Echo Zoom. 
Can I stealthily move faster? <laughs> you cannot move thing. faster than me! How fast does Star yeah, but move? Then to, but then you have to spend a whole round not moving, so I should easily be able to catch up with you. Okay, but like... Yeah, after you stop. Maybe she did that because she wants to be alone. For like two minutes. Two dang bad. Do you think August wanted to be left alone? No, you kept on giving him random pieces of paper. That had some random crap on it. And then he was happy because you said no. And he didn't want to be alone. So then he wasn't alone. Technically, you never knew that Star was doing that, so... He has his suspicions. Did <laughs> and you his roll suspicions for that? can be pretty accurate in the fact that we're in a bard prank war thing. Bard prank war thing? Yes. Fine. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if he even Okay, or not. whatever. Gonna do it anyways, what? Bard... Okay, regardless. <laughs> so, to fully establish, I zoom like 120 feet. Could I, like, hide up a tree once I get that 120 feet? Hide up a tree? <laughs> sure. I would like to hide up a tree. Hide up a tree? Yes, I would like to climb up the tree with my climbing speed, and I would like to hide. Okay. Pebble, no gifts while driving. Is he still driving? Yeah. I got a 12 for my stealth. Could I have advantage because I'm away from everybody and they don't even know where I am? I have an 18 passive perception. That's why I'm asking for. I have a 19 advantage. passive perception. Jesus, we're perceptive. And also, oh, nice. 60 feet of dark vision. How many feet? Of dark vision? Anyway, can I have that? 60. Advantage. Hmm. So, as you guys continue your travel, um, <laughs> Star, you're able to dry yourself off. Like, wait, we're, wait, hold on. So response. wait. I felt that was an actual character moment if he was going to catch up to me. It's you guys annoying each other. Persistently. <laughs> we can move on. That's it's okay. normal. <laughs> I'm assuming this just continues. If you want to, we can, we can finish role playing this. Yeah, no. It's just... No, no, no. No, it's fine. We no you're on. the one that wanted to catch up. We could have just moved on, but you're no, the, like, I'll no, I'm going to... You act like, you act like I can't How about we just later. I'll continue. Just later, we can continue. See you later, man. <laughs> See, why you always got to cut the character moment okay. short? So, yeah. So, stars 120 feet ahead. Poorly hidden up in a tree. George. Is attempting to dry herself off with the rag. Or towel or whatever it is. And every time that I guess he flows, he just feels slightly warmer. <laughs> okay, what do you mean? I don't zoom I do not continue zooming. I'm up a tree. Well, I mean if you continue trying to zoom. I do not continue okay, just, trying okay, to zoom. Let's go. Just move on. It's okay. Do you say anything when you get there? No, I just look at you, and then I just continue moving. Let's just move on. <laughs> are you allergic oh, to role play? Are we you are you oh, are you this. allergic to role play? Uh, I'll ask for my folded cloth back whenever you want to. No, it's just that I do not want to spend the rest of the time on this 15-day trip. Okay, if you had just done it from the start, instead of arguing about it, we would have been way long past done. Alright, let's just go. I'm depending if I should go back to my thing, because you guys are just lagging every five seconds for me on my phone. Yes, go back to your computer. I don't know, but then, but then they talk too much. We couldn't really the, hear uh, them. Computer. 
Yeah, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you guys can hear them or not. It's my What's your passive like... insight? Uh, mine? Yeah. Um, I will tell you that in a second. Let me, where is that? Where will it be? Eh, nope. Uh, 14. Okay. Like, in real life or on my character sheet? I'm just confused. Your real life insight. Yeah, your real life passive insight. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. We were beating up each other with pool noodles earlier. Oh no, the horror. No, but it was pool noodles and a PVC pipe stuck up in the center. Um, and we were, and we were whacking each other with them. The rest of the day passes without... Anything interesting happening? Do you guys continue your prank war using various methods and no. tools and spells? No. 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 Okay. So, no. Oh, I'll are... stop for now. Star wanted to be done. That's why she ran ahead. And for those with passive insights high enough, she looks a bit sad. Well, mine's an eleven, so. I don't think that fits. Night time. <laughs> who's, who's making your watch check for the night? Uh, hmm. I elect Makdo. No. Makdo is going to sleep. <laughs> I, can... I elect myself. Sounds great. I had a rough day. I had a rough day. I deserve this. I. All right, Ben, if you're please and give me a perception check. Me. Whoever self-elected themselves, yes. Okay. That I'm would be that. me. Perception check. Ooh, that is a twenty-eight. Ooh, nice. 28. The night passes quietly. The, the night goes on. You kind of keep an eye out for any crazed turtle shapes in the darkness, but you don't see any. How far did we make it? 22 miles. Can you give me a reference on the map? It's important. Could I recall the day and make an insight check on you are my memory of the squid party members? Almost where? Sorry, you talked to through. the Verst Glade. To the what? The Verst Glade. It's it's marked on the map. Look at the map. Uh, map. no, it's not. No. No, not this map. Why are they different? And one job was to make a map. <laughs> Why is it so different? Could you just send me a text of of the map, and I will, I will, or at least that section of the map, and I can. Yeah, I'll just throw a picture in chat. Thank you. The map that they had a map that came with the book. And it's been nothing but not helpful. <laughs> it's a really good map, but it's completely different from the uh, the one where we have in the chat. And when you say that, do you mean campaign general or DND general? Because there's two different ones in each. There's a nice one in campaign yeah, general. That's like be... a okay. I've always wanted the. Uh... To go to Puebla's Concord. I know that we're getting close. We won't be there for long. What? It's one of the other um, countries, technically. 
It's just a bunch of ports on the beach. That's basically it. And a bunch of islands. No giffing while driving, George. Ah, that's pretty. Oh, wait, um, Where is the map? I was going to say. Ooh. That looks say we 3D. Sam, where did it's not. Start? It's it's just... Not 3D. Um, it's in campaign general. So um, wait, where... That small uh, what map. was the area you it said we made it to? Telling me. Where did you say we made we it to? almost to the... The Verst Glade. Verst Glade. So that's about yep, there. That's nice it's just, just south of Stonehaven. It's right above the words Ashkeeper Peaks, literally going in that direction. No. Uh, Sam, can I try to make another persuasion check? The place. Oh, the memories? oh, well, between the two yeah, Ashkeeper Peaks. Oh, I labels. see. It's listed twice. Let me know when, yeah, when I, I just that. saw the second one too. Um, is it closer or farther away from the water? Are we like traveling along the water's edge or through the mountains? Um, well, which way do you guys want to go? Probably through the mountains, the more direct path. Yeah, through the mountains. Well, that's okay. what we decide. So you probably would go through the Verst Glade then. Uh, Sam, uh, yes. so like, is this already like the next day, or were you just like letting us know what where our location was? Where we made camp uh, for the well, night. Someone asked specifically. Okay. All right. I just wanted to double check. Could I make an insight roll on the party's behavior today? What? Sure. Like recalling, like throughout the day, or it's that day. Functional, like always. Yep. Could I possibly have advantage, and I am willing to argue it if that is required. Why would you have advantage? Is there something specific you're looking for? Yes. The uh, a lot the, happened. The some running away and hiding. The oh. running away and hiding. Yes, that seems like behavior that. Band From himself Star? would have been had experience with. Yes, from Star. Who else? Wait, what? Why? Why? Sure. If you're gonna try and provoke a reaction, why are you upset when a reaction is elicited? What do you mean? What? Insight. Ooh, that is a, uh, oh crap, I only have a plus one. Uh, that's still an 18. An 18? I mean, it's pretty evident that she wanted to be left alone. She's a little upset. Okay. Because she said, like, if someone's, like, insight was over a certain thing, my passive was 11, but actually making the effort to think back to it is now an 18. Yeah, no, I said she's a bit upset. <laughs> Insight's not mind That's reading. You can... <laughs> you can see Agus inching towards her encampment area. <laughs> She's up in a tree. No. Wait, are there trees? Um, there are a okay. number of pine trees here, and that kind of evergreen kind of style trees. Are they the kind of evergreens where like there's the branch for a bit, and then there's the leaves or the pines? Are they are they soft evergreens or are they prickly? I think these ones would be on the more prickly side. Oh. Not not exactly comfortable. Very sappy. I grumble. <laughs> I prefer sleeping in trees. But these are sticky. Okay. Um can I make that persuasion check, Sam? Or, or wait, no, Ban's still doing his thing. Never mind. Let me make yours real quick. I was just gonna do yeah. the said requested roleplay thing because I don't know. It feels like it'd be interesting now. Why not? Uh, you, but you can you do, do your you thing do real your quick. Thing. Okay. Uh, I guess I will take into consideration said behavior and first I'll look for Star if I need to make a check. She, for that. She's no, she's nearby. She's. 
Okay. She was and like I'll... looking at the trees, like looking if there was any place she could rest uh, up in the trees, and deciding that they're all too sticky. <laughs> I'll go and ask her, just like a. <clears throat> Yeah. So, uh, what's, uh, what's going on today? Seem to be a... Well, I mean... Well, seem to have your buttons pushed. Well, for one, I mean, I really, really don't like water. I saw Mito was in danger, and I kind of just acted. I didn't really think about myself or the water or anything. I just wanted to help Mito. And everyone's, once again questioning my decisions, making me think that everything I'm thinking is wrong. I mean, technically... Have have, have gas lanterns been invented yet? <laughs> oil lanterns been invented? Gas lanterns, probably not. Oil lanterns, yes. Okay, well, it was oil lanterns, so, so yes. I feel like I'm being gaslit quite a bit. <laughs> oil, oil, oil lit. Well, no, it it, it gasoline. It, it it's it they would it it's the term came from the dude dimming the oil lanterns. So I, feel like... I think I got a good comparison for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Well, uh, I think we'll I got difference. like a good metaphor for it. Uh, okay. Well. See, making these weapons, it tends to be kind of easy actually shooting them. I don't really have to wait for a fuse. It's just kind of, you know, instantaneous. And it, once you press that trigger, pull that trigger, it just kind of blows up all in your face if you don't have a chamber to direct it. So maybe they were, you know, kind of causing you to blow up a little bit. And thinking back on the day, I can kind of see that happening but uh i mean it's still really frustrating to have every single action i take questioned and criticized constantly regardless of results Like, that should have been a moment where we all, like, celebrated each other's, uh, contributions in dealing with that turtle guy. But instead, it became just a mess of lying and blaming and criticizing. And I don't understand how we're supposed to work as a team when... When that's how we treat each other after an encounter. Well, let me raise you this question. I'm gonna step away for a second. Say if it was more than just me suggesting said rope idea. Say if you actually, well, say if you just didn't dismiss it, and we could have banded together, me and August could have shared our rope, tied it together. All four of us would have worked together to pull in Mito from the... It was Mito, right? Yeah. But, like, you're still ignoring the idea that you would have had to throw it to him. He would have had to catch it while swimming. Could uh, How deep... Like, could I have gotten a gauge on how deep the water was when I was out in the middle of it? Probably somewhat deeper than 30 feet. In, like, some really deep water, which, like, I don't know how good a swimmer Mito is, but, like... I don't like going in water at all. I'm a pretty bad swimmer. And that's fine. That's understandable. That's why I August jumped across could have also him. gone in the water. Yeah, but no, he didn't. So I figured it yeah, was a just better... It. I thought it was a better guaranteed chance to get our friend, our party member, than to risk throwing a rope. We don't know what that turtle wanted with him. And we still don't because of the lies. 
Well, we will find that out in a less pressuring time. But in the current time, let's just all try to relax, not heat or cool others apparel. Oh yeah, and that we suggested not to. Yeah, I, I when didn't someone that is too. soaking wet and the temperature in the air is fine, making them warm is just gonna make them swampy. It's gross. like just uh the kong said that he had like jumped out real quick right yeah he's not no i'm right here i'm i'm here now but you're still good to do all the role play you want would thanks for the permission i'm trying to figure out if i would just be like sitting at the stump at the stump of the tree or feel i would have like tried to climb no no the she's tree. not up in a tree because the trees are too sticky oh she she's kind of right. up no, against I... the stump of a tree <laughs> No, sir, the only reason I said that, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't want him to rush just because I was back. Uh, oh, we won't. Ben's just going to call call out to August real quick. August, do you know how to swim? Um, when you call up to August, he's kind of lost in thought, humming something. Well, I'll ask him, like, tomorrow or something not super urgent right now, but I just I figured kind of understand how you suggest... teleporting in 12 seconds was much more guaranteed than throwing a rope, throwing rope. and well, tying rope and throwing it and trying to have him catch it with the current and the tidal wave created by the turtle dude, like. I mean, I was also suggesting this before we even knew the turtle was coming. Quite frankly, I kind of suggested it as soon yeah, as stepped but in like, the water. Yeah, but like, I case. didn't have rope, and I wasn't, I wasn't thinking we had two hundred feet of rope. Well, we had more than just 50. Maybe we could have planned together and, you know, thought of something. I'll admit, my patience isn't the best. That's why when Mokdo was like, can one of you bamp me across? I was like, yeah, sure, because I didn't want to go in the water either. But when Mito was in danger, I didn't think I acted because sometimes you don't got time to think the dude literally threatened to turn him into a skeleton DM real quick did the river like go off did the river lead into like a waterfall or was it just like all river no it was all river it, it was, was all river but there was a tidal here. wave with a necromancy like turtle on top of it charging towards him I feel like this is a good description of what yes. the turtle was. Yeah, Ben's just gonna like add on to it, like, and I can understand that impatience. I also have that, although I will admit that I was conflicting ideas of what to do, considering I don't necessarily need to, well, you know, breathe. I did, you know have the thought of jumping into the water to either help Mito or try to see if I could look for that turtle. And, you know, if I get swept under, it doesn't really affect me that much. But I just didn't do it. I mean, Makdo using that hypnotic wave to knock him off his tidal wave probably saved Mito in my life. It was like, I didn't really think about how fast that dude was moving. I'm pretty sure if that tidal wave had reached us, we we could have been drowning. Because I don't think either of us are very strong swimmers. Yeah, DM, 
would acrobatics also work for swimming or would that just be strictly athletics no i'm too? saying so because that... of i yeah. i'm saying i don't care i'm saying because tabaxi because not liking water i can't swim mm -hmm. yeah i'm just like asking because i have a plus 30 acrobatics but a minus one athletics that was also what i was contemplating earlier if i could just get a growth With acrobatics you could do like some of that fancier like waterfly like or like I'm backstroke sure. but there's like a there's like a fancy water sport synchronized, synchronized swimming. swimming yes you can synchronize that. Swimming. Right. <laughs> can you do that? And, and dive better but for the most part swimming is just endurance Okay, it really is, though, especially swimming against a current like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, no, not too many good experiences with that, <clears throat> Ben says. But. So I, I heard you're taking first watch tonight? Yeah, you know, the whole not really needing sleep and staying conscious while I quote unquote rest kind of, you know, gives me the best chance. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure how much sense I'll, that makes. I'll stay up on. I'll stay up with you for the first two hours. All right. Thank you for talking. And I won't try to offer you any relaxing drugs. Frankly, I kind of need it all today. <laughs> when are you, when are you gonna... Sure. When uh, I see them winding down, I'm like beginning. To watch, I'll head over and ask Star for my uh, app back. Oh, yeah, th thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll hand it. I'll, uh, I'll unfold it and put it on because it is now a stylish hat. <laughs> That's I'll, interesting. Uh, Wait, what? That was I don't know. It's a hat? <laughs> Huh? What did you say? It's it's a hat. Oh yeah. Do you like it? It's very stylish, isn't it? Is it a sneed? A feed? A sneed? Whatever it was. That's all I can think of. I think both those things are things. <laughs> it's a hat. It's a sock. It's a scarf. It's a blanket. How bad can I be? Yeah. Oh, also, a... uh, he'll like add. Uh, but uh, also, Star, as far as throwing the rope, you, you've you seen how I am with, you know, range things, right? You can't shoot I mean, a rope. You don't have a harpoon gun. I mean, if I find a rock, I got a sling. Tie one end of the rope. You know what? Rock, how about? Chuck it. How about next time we're confronted with a river that's not dangerous... Or just a giant open patch of land. We can test that theory, but not when one of our friends' lives are is it, is it danger. Fair, fair. Just saying, I'm surgical with this. First time I shot a guy, he landed up in a wheelchair. It was intentional. Wonderful. Also, if and I laid Mokto out earlier. <laughs> I laid Mokto out a couple days ago. Like, we're both powerful, just in different ways. Very true. Also, like, out of game real quick, if anybody got that reference, props to you. Like, back in game, uh, it's very true. Honestly, I'm probably sure that you're powerful more ways than I am. It's like, you think with your guns, I think with my music and magic. I mean, also, I also think with my mind. I'm not too intelligent, but, you know. I meant, like, your frame of reference. Of course, the thinking All happening is happening in your brain, but, like, what frames of reference do you use? More so, not just trying to shoot the enemy, but also trying to cripple them to get any advantage I can. That's... Dark. I mean, it's effective. I mean, ma'am, I am undead. You don't get much darker than what's inside this body. Uh, okay. Uh, she's gonna, like, inch a away from you and closer to the tree. Just like, okay. 
That's... It's all right. I won't eat your brains. I'm not that kind of undead. Take a look around for another for for a different tree again, hoping to find a <laughs> deciduous tree of some sort. All right. Anything else from you guys tonight? No. Uh, yeah, I think that oh. one is done. I know. I said them. <laughs> I mean, it was Jill. kind of general, so I thought you were talking to everyone, so sorry. Sorry, I was talking to the, the guys who were most recently speaking. I'll take this now. I'm going to take my uh, rest while I'm on watch, because I stay conscious. Also, I have the alert feed. No, you rest... You rest yeah, when you're means... off watch. You rest for four hours, you watch for four hours. Or you watch for four hours, then you rest for four hours. That's the or whole point. you lie to your party and rest while you're watching, and then rest while you're resting. <laughs> the description says you don't need to sleep. Magic can't put me to sleep. I finish a long rest in four hours if I spend those hours so in you inactive, still motionless state, during which you retain consciousness. Okay, fine. But, like, you're not like, super alert of your surroundings. You're not, like, keeping I mean, your head on us. You're... <sighs> and you're also there with me, so I feel like I can, like, you know, take a little relaxation time. What's the... Your passive perception's, like, a lot higher than me, isn't it? Yes, my passive's 24. <laughs> Mine's 19. <laughs> so it's the same. <laughs> While she's asleep, yeah. it's the same. <laughs> Pretty much, I guess. Yeah, if somebody breaks a branch nearby, I'm probably the first to know. Same here. Mass. Alert gang. I don't even have the alert feet, though. You've got the... Got yeah, but... Shield. Yeah, the shield, though. That doesn't make me alert. That doesn't make me, uh, unable to be surprised. Oh. Light sleeper gang, I guess. <laughs> you can see Ben's clearly trying to make something that's funny. But he, he, it's like that. It's possible Star is purposely not finding it funny because it's inherently funny for you to just try so hard. Ben doesn't notice that, <laughs> and tries, still tries to think of things like a, uh, alert, awake, uh, uh, jumpy. Nah, maybe, maybe. Put that on the back burner. Jumpy Where? gang, maybe. You do this for two hours, and then I go to bed. <laughs> He's still like mumbling to himself, like a, a j jittery. Nah, maybe not jittery. Uh. Who am I waking up for Last second week. watch? <laughs> or is, is he watching on his own for the next two hours? Yeah, he has to watch on his own for the next two hours. Anyway, yeah. did we already uh, roll for the night's stuff? Yes. God, yeah, okay. Like do do August yeah. thing. Do August thing. You know, 28. Yeah. Okay, Sam, that's a 21. Okay. I will message you what happens. Is there anything else you guys want to do? Um, no, I want to sleep. Not... I would like to not okay. get any sticky fur. I would like to sleep. Just stare so at the I'm sky. You guys are interested. Motionless. Nah, I won't do it. We'll save it for later. I'm worried by that. It's just what he's humming away to. What are you humming? Hum it. I mean, I can put it in chat or Sam can play it, whatever one. No, hum it. Or you could hum it. I'm not actually humming it. Coward. But you could hum it. What kind of bard are you? Why wouldn't you hum it? It's humming. It doesn't require any skill. <laughs> what kind of bard are you? I mean, it requires the skill to be able to make uh, audible bard. noises. No, no. Yes, I have the Newt Newt stick! 
I am I am best bard. I have a newt newt stick that makes me best bard. I mean, I have a cello or a trombone that I can go. I have a viola. Cool. And a trumpet somewhere in this house. Honestly, that's the better bard because I'm a paladin with an electric guitar. That's obviously. I have a triangle. See, no, but I specifically have the instruments that my character has, so. Also, Sam, before I go to sleep, I'll be praying to Radius. There. That is what he's humming. Coward. I mean, I was considering getting a fiddle, just because I really like the whole cowboy vibe. Links do not want to open for me, unless I hold down on it. La 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 Go ahead. I get a plus nine. I know. <laughs> Who else would? I got an 18. An 18. Uh -huh. All right. Um, little troubles, you guys, over these past few days. You're assaulted by a, a some sort of hungry black bear at one time, but you guys scared away pretty easily. Can I befriend it? Can I shoot it? No! Those yeah, are two food. very different responses, which I believe would result in it running away, ultimately. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, little buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, Cock shotgun! The gun sound. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, where are we? So, um, you guys, if I'm correct, had scries and messages that you were planning on doing. Uh, yes, we were going to scry on the the father person. The kobolds that we're trying to look for. No, yeah, no. Uh, where are we My on father, the map at this point? the other person or the kobold. Jesus. Disrespect. It's your father, They're right? Kobolds. I was right. You just said the other person, the kobolds. Well, I mean, they are other people, and they are kobolds, so but they're not both correct. Family. But no, I, I said no father well. person, didn't I? Well, then I'm sorry, I heard other person. No, I said I said father person. The kobolds. I couldn't remember if it was, like, specifically your father, or, like, the tribe leader, or something. I couldn't remember specifics. I knew it was your family, but I didn't know how you were defining family. Because I would define my whole clan as my family. Yeah, would I be able to use a uh, scry orb? Sure. I'm the first noble. Am I able to see? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I have in there. The new oh. newt stick! <laughs> I'm sorry, the viola's hard to play. <laughs> Understandable. Makdo, you see um you see your your father and a, a group of other kobolds a little less distinctly in the the orb. They seem to be wandering along some sort of mountain path, stepping over steep gravel, carrying backpacks. Does he recognize good. it? Where? Make perception check. Perception. That's not really what Scry is supposed to do. Yeah, but like, he, he could recognize the area. Don't you see the area immediately around the person? 16. Mm -hmm. Um, 16? Yeah. They're clearly in some mountainous region. Thanks. Like... 
if they were in a desert, you would know. Um, if they were at the beach, you would know. But they are at least you know that they are. In They're taking the, the mountain path. Where about in the mountains? Are they in the Cliff we... Keep Mountains? The Ashkeeper Peaks? That could be oh, anywhere. That, that, that could be any any mountain range. Would you say we are under the word ver ver ver? Would you say we're under the word glade? Reverse glade. <laughs> just give some other just says glade. <laughs> First glade. Or you say we're uh, under that that word? Yeah. Can I ask why you need to know? Like, because I'm doing a thing. Specifically, where I'm we are doing a thing. You'll see. <laughs> Do we want to are you thing? making little dot dots? <laughs> yes, I am. There we go. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're you guys are probably just towards the bottom of the glade. Dot dots for. I was like, what on earth could you possibly need to know the pinpoint location for? <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. What are these dot dots? Wait, how long have you been doing this for? Since we set off on the adventure. Okay, but not like. Because yeah, I think it would be hilarious to see a, a dotted map of everywhere you well, guys are. Well, most of it would be bamfing. <laughs> most of it would be bamfing. True. Like, there this was, was the first time we were. Th there was one walking, and I wasn't even recording back then. Oh, this is specifically for the recording. All right. So you, you've used your scribe, is there anything else you guys would like to do, or just keep walking? Keep walking and do what I just messaged you. Would I be able to keep out for rock birds? Like those giant terrifying birds? Rock birds. Mock those rock birds. Yeah, rock birds are terrifying. You need to be wary. You never dealt with them? Uh, not personally. <laughs> well, they live in the Ashkeeper Peaks. Well, yeah, I read about them in the book, but, like, I've never, I didn't, it didn't really have a size comparison. It had a banana for scale, but that didn't help. <laughs> They're, like, really big. They're, like, let's see, uh, two or three of me, though. Big. They're like two or three of me, though. Oh, that's big. That's like how big rock birds are. Yeah, that's very that's very big. And words. All right. Can I ask you to do rock birds? Uh, no, just the perception check okay, if you good. want to look for them, specifically. Eh, let's just do it. Just say one more survival Everything's check. Everything's okay. Got a five on that. No rock birds in sight. Wait, Sam, does someone still need to make a survival check? I volunteer's tribute. Um, you sure about that? George, are you still driving? Why not? We've had it easy so far. No, nope. he didn't say anything. He just jumped. <laughs> yeah, he just unmuted and didn't say anything. That was a power move. Wait. Okay. Wait, Pebble? Um, hello? Hello? I sent a message hello? asking because you, you weren't on your phone anymore and I got no response. Been home for a while. I kind of assumed, but I wasn't sure. I've been chilling. You didn't want to be back home yeah. yet. <laughs> you want to take it's your back? 16. Hey, 16? Right. Yes, sir. Let's 
see, you guys reach about 10 days into your journey. Um, and at that point, you guys realize that you're pretty close to where the, the kobolds are through various sendings and scries. And you manage eventually to meet up with them over a very tenuous and exhausting process as kobolds are... These kobolds are not the best at describing their surroundings. <laughs> And after a frustrating extra two days, you eventually do find them. Hey. Father. Okto. Good to see you again. Good, good to see you. Did you bring any food? I'm gonna, uh, not much. I just pull out some rations. I could find us some fresh stuff in the forest uh, mountains on our home and i can make a delicious meal don't bother we'll get food later today oh um beef sorry. do you want me and you to go ahead and start casting Uh, yep. Not many kobolds are here. Let me pull this. Okay, you have a snowbow. I will don't give us names yet. I'm just telling. And there's us. about seven other kobolds. Hey. Okay. I hope that. Like, we can get names later, just right now, I just wanted to know numbers. Mm, yes. Um, everyone else died on the journey. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm sorry. They only made it, like, three days. So many bears. So many bears. And the rocks. It was horrible. Well, let's, get, let's get you to safety, Star. Bears are quite terrifying. Um, can I help Star with the casting? Sure. Just to reduce the total time needed to cast. As you guys are doing Did that, you, um... you have the you have the chalk, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, an extra chalk. As you guys are casting, uh, Makdo, your father kind of catches you up on what's been happening back at home. And he mentions that like uh, a group of kobolds from far north kind of reconnected and came down to update them on kind of what was going on with their brethren up north. Can I ask them what was the name of their brethren civilization? Their tribe? Oh, well, they think they run an empire, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Was their commander yes. Beepo? You weren't here. I don't think there was a, anyone by the name of Beepo. Commander Beepo, my guy. But, you know, we've updated the religious texts and histories, which of course we've brought with us. I've also found some new texts, which are enlightening. All right. Oh. Everyone getting a single point of line? Okay, the spell only lasts a short amount of time. Uh, when you go through, you're going to uh, immediately uh, head, you're going to go into a room and you're gonna head out the door and you're going to uh, go up the stairs uh, that are presented to you right outside the door. Can we say that when they built the fence, they also built a railing to that stairwell? Yes. Thank God. And then as soon as you get outside, you can stop running. Please do not run off the edge. Son, you know what they're talking about? It's more than a sentence. Um. Yeah, they're teleporting. We're gonna teleport, and we're gonna be at our town. It's on top of a mountain, so be careful. Ooh, I like mountains. Yeah, 
So be careful so when you exit the building, you don't fall off the cliff. There's a mine oh. which I'll lead you guys to. There's some Ridiculous. other kobolds there. Just I haven't fallen off of anything for days. Just follow Makdo. Just follow Makdo. Uh, he'll lead you right again. to he'll lead you right to the mines. Alright. I'm gonna look at them and I'm gonna just say, ready? Set go. And I like, like cast it immediately so they can start running. I will lead. Well, the we cast it together. <laughs> shuffle and push and shove their way into the portal. Until the cobalt through, everyone else will jump through, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys all find yourself in a, uh, a cramped room once again. The cobalt didn't quite breach the instruction of how to exit the room. Um, but they managed to get through the portal, which is good. Okay. I will lead them to the mine. Is it alright if we stop here? Because I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Uh, well, that is a good stopping point, anyways. What an exciting game. <laughs> oh, we had a lot of people leave. Makdo's got a family here now. Yeah. Be and next week we fight a dragon. We find the dragon. Still here. Still here. Okay, so uh, um Sam, before we end, can I use a spray orb? For uh something I haven't done in a while. I think oh, I know what it is then. Lars. Yeah. I think I know what it is then. Alright. <laughs> Save. Oh shoot, okay. Um, that actually succeeded. Oh my god. What's... Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's always him. <laughs> no one else succeeds their saving throws. Just him. <laughs> Alright, I'll send... Uh, sending again. I'll just say, hey, it's been a hot minute. What are you doing? How have you been? It's a third level, I think, right? Yes. Okay. You received no response. Did it go through? You don't. It's kind of hard to tell. Like you send it to Lars, but there's no response. Like, did it did it succeed or did it fail? Yeah, there's no response. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I should feel like I should. I feel like I should know if it failed or not. You cast the spell. You waited for response. None came. It didn't. It wasn't countered or dispelled or anything like that. Okay. You don't really have a thing that, like, ends the session. Like, a thing you say that ends the session. You can't just say we'll call it there. I don't. Do I need a thing? You should have a thing. Makes it easier <laughs> to end the recording. I was certain you were going to start playing the recording. Um, that I'm sorry, good. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> for the we'll pick it up there next time. <laughs> hey, that works. More everlasting pain. More death, more people dying. Next time I'll kill you guys. <laughs> next time on, uh, next what time. new undead friend will we make? <laughs> now that one's My true! God, that I'm undead. Are What's you sure? the next?